Hey, good Hello. morning, everyone. How are you, Bro Bill? Everything okay? Yeah, all good. All good here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been a while. It is, know, it I is. don't know. How long, how long have I been gone? Well, man, that must be close to a flipping month. For that. How long do you reckon? <laughs> it seems that long, isn't it? It seems that long. Oh, well, you know, I'm here. So, yeah, it seems like a lot of things, uh, exciting things happen. Yes. Hmm. Quite, quite exciting. I mean, we all expected uh, what would happen and stuff. So, and there are people who actually doubted. There are people who actually, you know, um, kind of backing that guy up still. Even now, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, what are, what are some, before we get to the really, like, you know, the fun part of it, um, what are some things happen anyway, you know? Well, it's just the usual, really. You know, Nutty smoked with his, uh, his gang of sycophants and endorsers, just doing their usual hate streams. Um, yeah, pointless confronting any of them. I think tried a few times confronting the, the sycophants, that is. But... No, they're not interested. They're doubling down. They're, they're as lost as moths in space, the whole lot of them. And for some reason, mm. that mighty lord and prophet, Smokums, can do no wrong. But that's, hmm. that's all fun. Uh, other than that, it's been, you know, it's been pretty quiet. See, that's why we need you about. <laughs> it's been, been pretty quiet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean... I wanted to take a, a little break till, you know, 30th, uh, March 30th, so to say. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I wanted to see uh, what actually going to come out of it. Um, so it came out as expected. As expected, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, there are a couple of uh, other f uh, more facts that I have uh, found out. Um but um, yeah, the boy's got uh, the boy has gotten famous, <laughs> quite famous. So yeah, um, he is, yes, he certainly has. I, one of the things that here's the thing, you know, I, I I have mentioned this a little earlier with you before the show started. Uh, you know, it's not about what he has done. Okay, really, as 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 Christians, we are to forgive one another. But thing is, that is when he is or she is repentant. You know, even Christ said, like, you know, if someone does something, he repents, then we are to forgive. However, uh, this guy has been, you know, totally defiant all throughout, even still. It's like, oh, yeah, Smokey is in jail. Nobody said he's in jail. <laughs> and then he comes out doing some stupid streaming, right? As if that that's not him. As if that he has nothing to do with it. As if that, as if that was solve everything, you know that sort of lying snake crap. That is the problem that I have, right? Yeah. I'm sure you you have the same problem. Oh yeah, this, I have the same problem plus extra kind of whammy from that monster because. You know, he, he was exclaiming he's so innocent and so sinless that, that he started being very personal to uh, my family bereavement and brought all that up. So it got very personal on that from that moment onward. It really did. Right, right. And yeah, Christ, I mean Oh got even got even got even got Bond here, one of his supporters. So we, we know that Bond's marked as a non supporter now. So well done, no, speaking of Bond, there's you know, I have uh, already, also, I don't know how many times I have invited him. This guy named Conboy, right? <clears throat> Some people say that Con is racist, but hey, you know what else can I address him other than Conboy? <laughs> but here, here's the thing. You know, these guys would be like blindly follow, you know, Josh, for yeah. example. Yeah, blindly follow. Yeah, because I, they're deceived. They right. literally are. But the, what is even scarier is in that deception, when 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 this deception's been shown to them, instead of like repenting, 
they're doubling down. Mm-hmm. Literally. And I, and I honestly, peradventure, after this anoint hangout, where the evidence, actual proof of evidence is laid out, they're right. going to be like Pharaoh. They're going to harden even further. They're going to double down more. But that's up to them. Because to me, I don't know if you think the same, but to me, that cries aloud right there. These people are tears. Right, liars, um, nothing but like pretentious bastards. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, Bond, um, what do you think about all this? Do you still believe that Josh is innocent? I mean, now we can officially say that he's a freaking pedo, all right, because he's a, he's convicted. Well, we can also say Bond's a pedo supporter as well, legitimately, and so right. Is- we can also say that you are a pedo supporter, Bond. So yeah. share your thoughts. Lying about what happened, the details, and about the victim. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, yeah, this is you know, that's what that's what he's been doing on the internet, and that's what bad enough what he done to me, and that was grievous and most sick, and then he done obviously evil to Janet and Cheryl and all other people and you, but what about the victim? This so this person actually that had all this this horrendousness going on towards him, and then you got Smokey every day spewing his filth and lying right and I mean, like, right like so for example he told a kenny boy right. that the victim was 15 and 11 months i mean i mean i mean actually i don't know whether josh told him or whether kenny said that oh my wife is a paralegal and you know the victim was 15 and 11 months but turned out to be how old the victim was 13. <clears throat> and then Kenny was saying that, oh, yeah, it's okay yeah. because, you know, uh, my grandparents were whatever like that, or even like Joseph and Mary was like that, you know, when yeah. it was nothing but rape. There is no relationship, no marriage whatsoever. So that sort of lies, you know. I mean, so when when that sort of things came about, you know, people were saying like, oh, yeah, well, you know, some people would say like, oh, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I, my daughter, you know, she's uh, 14, but at 13, someone get raped and that is a relationship and that is love story. Yeah. And therefore judge, her, you know, her the evidence and therefore like, you know, the, the uh, <laughs> you would be rendering such judgment and and things, no. And also, uh, Janet says the teachers who are in a Christian environment must be held to higher standard, and he failed grossly in many areas. Here's the thing: nothing but a pretentious bastard. I mean, I'm going to tell you straight up: he is nothing but a pretentious bastard. He's not even a Christian. He actually, you know, use Christianity to actually, you know, package himself that he is such a moral person. He used Kenny Boy as a front to speak his lies, just like just like his daddy Satan. Yeah, so, exactly. yeah. Flying Monkey was discussed on overcoming narcissism this week on why this poor arc. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we can definitely say that uh, Josh is an arc. You know, especially with the perpetual lies over and over. Yeah. What is going on? Are, are you serious, man? Hey, Bond, are you serious? You don't even know what is going on. He does. He's playing. No, no, he's he's a troll. He's playing ignorant. Oh, oh, I didn't realize this was all true. After backing him up for the are last you serious, year. man? Like I said, wow. I've, I've got. Like, thankfully, again, not that I'm a vengeful person. Because generally I'm not. I usually forgive and forget well, nearly all the time. But because what he done to me, my family, what he's done to the other brothers and sisters, and what he done to this victim, you know, I, I let's say I'm keeping lists of the names of his supporters. And Bond, you're one of them. So's Guru Lady. So's Erica. So's Baseman. So's Carpenter. I've got a list of all these people. And, you know, you should be more... more ashamed because you are endorsing this monstrosity 
Yeah, and, exactly. And I, that's what I find most disgusting. And I don't care if they hide the sales or, or, or suddenly say, oh, we didn't know. No, rubbish. They knew. They have endorsed the nonce and have been shown the same hatred towards us that have exposed the nonce and have been just as callous towards the thoughts and inclinations towards the victim and other innocent parties. That, yeah, so especially that, if he continues with his lies over and over. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, Cat Earth. Um, yeah, he is actually convicted. That happened on the thirtieth. So we're going to actually uh, provide the receipts. Yeah. Smokey's saying prefers his meat TV A six. <laughs> that, that's that's a little too much. But yeah, I, I wouldn't disagree with that. Uh, he likes his customer or is apparently rather sick epic of an elderly woman. That's another thing, isn't it? You know, he crap on other people, especially when women, especially, you know, on someone who he thinks that uh, he, the, uh, the person, the victim will be helpless, will not be able to respond. And this was actually like the actual case that was um, proving that he will not actually prevail over the victims he created many people you know he, he anguished many people he reviled many people even here on youtube and in his real life also he reviled he actually offended so many people including the victim right thinking that they will not do anything about guess what josh hey you little convict you little pedo, you got convicted, all right? Again, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it as a Christian if you truly have repented and actually have come to Christ. But you use Christianity as a front. You use guys like idiots like Kenny Boy as a front to cover your stupidity and still be lying about it. I told you, man. I told you before. I told you. <laughs> I told you before that you keep it up. The worst thing will come on to you. And guess what? It is coming. Unless you can truly repent and unless you can truly come to Christ, the worst thing will continuously come to you. Mark my word, man. Really. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I've, at Numbers 22, well, 32, 23, the end part, it, it is a surety from God, you know, literally, you know, to so people know be sure that your sin will find you out. And, right. and today, the day of reckoning is that his sin has been found out, he's been weighed, he's been measured, he's been numbered, and he's left wanting. Right. So today is a is a reckoning day. And, and yep. yeah, and, and like yesterday, I agree with a comment on there. Yeah, it's official. Will Kincaid, I don't mind saying it now, is a nonce supporter. So is Kenny. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Will, I mean, you are a father, okay? You are a that. father already now. I mean, you actually would lie for money? That's, that's, that's incredible. just incredible. Judas is scary. Yeah. I mean, it's just incredible. By the way, the uh, GY6 is talking to a uh, uh, Bond. Come on, Sims. I want to hear you make excuses for a 21-year-old having sex with a 13-year-old. Not 15 and 11 months, not 16 years old, 13. Okay? So that's one of the things I want to hear from so-called these saints, these okay. minions. Yeah, not saints. Satanists, but not saints, I'll tell you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, check this out. I have mentioned this, Janet. Kenny kept shaming yeah. us because he compared it to the love of his grandparents who were underage, one of them. And also that underage person was over 16, either 16 or over 16. This victim that we're talking about, she was 13. But on top of that, Kenny was actually comparing our Lord, you know, and like, for example, he was comparing, oh, yeah, you know, Joseph and Mary. You know, it's okay. That kind of things. I mean, I have mentioned this about uh, earlier, but, hey, 
<laughs> what can I say? That Kenny boy is just in a, he got too much pill going on. It is very cl clearly stated on the National Sex Offender Registry that the victim was 13 and he was 21. Yep, I, yeah, we're going to actually get to that. We will get to um, that. Yeah. Yeah. I just responded so, to the bond because he's being stupid again. Well, what do you say now? He's saying, talking to me as if he's playing innocent, and I've just said that, well, you can put my comment up after that, but I'll, you know, basically he's, right, right. he's been measured now. He's a non-supporter, so I don't care what he does, change his name, try and laugh it off, because it's always a joke to these these non-supporters. You know, the same people who supported Matt Bell, they laughed it off until Matt Bell went to prison. Right. I mean, yeah, you know, but yeah, these people, I believe these people are just as bad. They're going to laugh it off. That they're going to think, oh, no, they make up excuses and say, oh, it was all a joke, it was all pretend. You, uh, no, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. You supported a nonce. I've seen you on there. I've screenshot you on there, supporting Armin and praise the and the nonce, mm -hmm. and, and attacking, attacking Janet, attacking Cheryl, attacking me, attacking Fix Shades, attacking any of us who I believe God duly give charge to expose the monster that is Smokey Saint. And now, you know, the reckoning has come. Right. You'll be, right. be proven right. I mean, how long has it been? Almost like a couple of years now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... Yeah, but hardcore, alarm, at least... No, at uh, least a year. Yeah, 13, 14 months. Because I know, I know, because I mark, obviously, the day my daughter passed away, and it was literally around that time. So that's how I that's how I know. That's when we knew he was a nonce. <clears throat> and his his only retort was instead of like say fessing up and saying, look, I repent to the Lord and I'm sorry, and that blah blah blah. No, he he's his retort was you soul murderer, your daughter's burning in hell. Sam's a scat's fetish, she's in a poo porn. Janet is a <laughs> this and, and show was that. See, this don't is, forget, hey, don't forget Satanist. Yes, yeah, Satanist. So this was no, him. Oh, don't forget Korean Satanist. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the Korean Satanist in. Might as well. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. isn't it? It is. You couldn't make yourself. Oh, man. If he was innocent, he would not have been convicted. Yeah, exactly. They have to show compelling evidence to get a conviction. Yeah. yeah. It seems like uh, he knows... Uh, uh, the law well but yeah exactly he's he's uh, as of uh march 30th he got convicted yeah. okay so all right same it is not the same okay yeah. who, who, who are you talking about janet i maybe i missed it all right yes Bon, you have been measured and you are an office official nuns supporter yeah all right <laughs> I mean, so it could be uh, discussing compared yeah. Joseph and yeah, exactly, Joseph and uh, and Mary, Joseph to Saint uh, the Josh. What is this, man? I, I mean, how old are you, Bon? Does this guy does this have an, even a, a conscious? Smoking and all that, Benjamin Young University. It's fun to. And people rape and see what happens. What do you mean fun to hand peop people rape and see what happens? Is he's convicted? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's but again, these the mentality of these people, they are making out that Smokey is the victim because Smokey has been caught and Smokey has been convicted. Smokey is the victim. Forget about the actual victim. This is the way society is. You see this a lot, you know, where, where the victim is kind of yeah yeah by the by you know that the actual general victim but the, the victimizer oh there's always an excuse for them in there always an excuse and and this you know this is well god doesn't deal with these excuses god is justice so forget about your 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 flipping support Ken, Ken Harvest DPA he goes I called it Smokey will say he just turned 21 she was almost 16 
Peter yeah. Saint. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it but that's what he has been saying that's what he's been saying and kenny repeating the same thing is like oh my wife is a paralegal blah 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 and she was like 15 and 11 month old you retard that's the crap that he was saying in this on my channel hey what's up rob hello all same P -A -A -M -A -M. yep yep god bless you rob What's Bray's got to say? Well, well I, I, you know. See, look, look, this is frustrating. frustrating me already. Look, instead of Bond having a slight bit of remorse that he endorsed the nonce, all he's doing is Rob Bray looking forward to the next stream. See, this shows you've got a seared conscience, boy. You know, I said, you're, mm -hmm. you're looking at this is Sam's channel because you'll be perma banned where well, you are perma banned <laughs> in mine. But, you know, you people, uh, this is why I'm. As I said to Sam right at the beginning, I am more angry with the supporters of the nonce because they should they should know better that you know they don't need to double down. But when you support a nonce, even after the nonce is convicted, and then just come up with facetious comments like Rob Reed is having a stream, I'm looking forward to that, and that's that's, all, that's the only retort you've got. Not oh shit, I was wrong. Or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should have listened to you. Oh, let's think about the victim for 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 a moment. No, you you, you people are sick in the end, Bod, and you are sick in the head, mate. You really are. The only dreams I'm giving you, Bond, is the only you're the only disciple of Smokey out there has actually come on here. <clears throat> yeah, well, man, you you can come on in. You know, you can come on in later when I share the link. Uh, and also, uh, someone mentioned about the. Um, what should we call it about praise well i don't know it's up to him you know he's the one who actually went with the lie he's the one actually provided the facts and truth here and then you know less than 24 hours later he turned it around and he he kissed uh josh's ass again and then you know he's you know he said he's not going to do anything to do with me blah 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 yeah. and you know i wish that you can repent again <laughs> praise but who's going to believe you yeah, exactly. He's doubling down. Sorry. Sorry for looking forward to a Bible study stream. See, that's Bolshevik. I'm calling Bolshevik on your lie there, Bond. You was looking forward to Rob making a stream about exposing Smokey, but now you've changed that around to the, 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 the study. Yeah, of course you are. Of course you are, mate. So, oh, so here's the thing, all right? <laughs> Either you actually... Um man up and just try to straighten things out because that phone number that was provided it doesn't matter how many other phone numbers that he provided to other people or to you whatever that very number he used as his uh, as his job real estate and that number was registered under josh or bell okay i can say that now because he's convicted pedo all right so go and figure, man. I mean, it's not like, oh, yeah, you know, he provided his his numbers and he belongs to his uh, relatives. Well, if it belongs to relatives, then why is it registered under his name? Exactly. I'll just uh, remark I mean, Dan Petrushko. <laughs> <laughs> so the dad relative raised, uh, <laughs> has been risen again and then changed his name to Josh Arbel. Is that, is that what's going yeah. on? Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. All right. So, what do you think, bro? Uh, should we kind of present the uh, receipts, so to say, or should we? Do you have any other uh, important comments that we need to address? Um, I don't know because I, there are a lot of comments. Well, yeah, I was going to say. Got to say, uh, Stan <clears throat> Petru says, "How is Sloppy Saint going to get out at this one?" Well, you know, he's going to double down, and he's the victim, and lie, like you know, he's been lying constantly for two years mm -hmm. blaspheming constantly for two years uh, bringing the name of christ in a disrepute for two years and it you know it doubled down and he get his disciples and that lot to help double down again i'm more interested in how praise i am the smoky supporter anoint who, who, who you know has made many malicious videos towards me and sam how is he gonna deal with this but i peradventure a double down i don't think he's going to flip flop on that one because he's he's known as a flip flopper 
So I think he, he's going to double down so he's not a flip-flopper and he's going to carry on as well. Smoke is smoke is a victim. He's The <laughs> Lord has forgiven him. Balls. I would say that. I call that he's, not, he's going to say, no, uh, smoke is not him. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, yeah. Conveniently, they uh, went, they meaning Kenny Boy and Josh went to, you know, uh, <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> Yeah, and, and actually went to the court on the 30th uh, regarding that very, very charge that have nothing to do with them, right? Mm. <laughs> and that on the same day that he was convicted. So, okay, and uh, what else? What else uh, uh, out there? Let's see. Uh, I would be like, oh, I'm spending all my energy trying to say, my name isn't really Donnie. <laughs> Yeah, well, see, that's the thing, isn't it? It's a lie after lie, perpetual lies. Because okay. why? I mean, mm -hmm. because he's a liar. Who's a liar from the beginning? The father of all lie. Yeah. And yeah. Hence, hence, when they proclaim their God, well, now their God, they proclaim, I believe, is small g, Satan. They can right, put right. a Christian title to it. I don't care what title they put to it. But seeing what these people have done consistently for over a year and a half, it doesn't take a rocket surgeon, as G-Man would say, to fathom they are serving the God of this world, Satan. Simple as that. Right. Simple. Hey, Teresa, I'm blocked there, so I'm not wanted at them. What, he's blocked at the Josh's channel? Is that what he's saying? I don't think. Mine. I Kenny was, Ken, yeah, Kenny, Kenny uh, was there to bail him out. Right. Well, actually, you know, he didn't have to go to jail, but he has to pay, pay the court, uh, whatever the amount. Yeah. So, yeah, Kenny was there as some sort of, uh, I would say, character witness, <laughs> because he, after all, he does claim that he is a doctor and a pastor. Yeah. Good character. He through his teeth for him. Yeah, that's a good character. Well, you know, you're a good pastor. When you went to Bible College at the 700 Club, you lie, you're a junkie, and you support a nonce. Yeah, wait, mm -hmm. wait to go, Kenny. Good past the material you are, mate. So yeah. It's definitely not my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so I think it's about time for us to present yeah. something. Yes. Present something with something solid. Evidence All right, let's, let's check it out. All right, so what is this? All right, says like, uh, you know, Josh, Mark's help out Joshua Nathan. That's his full name. However, he goes by many, many names. With Joshua, J for Joshua. Uh, even he goes with like Carl Marx. <laughs> That's one of the stupid thing, you know, <laughs> the communist Karl Marx. But anyway, this is a court record, public record. Um, this is about like uh, what kind of charges that he was uh, he was facing, and this was um, um, when presented with the raiment, because on the thirtieth, uh, Kenny Boy and Josh went to uh, North Carolina uh, to meet the charges, obviously. And there were many, many uh, charges that, that that has been placed. Statutory rape, all right, person 15 years old. Where he says 15 years doesn't mean that the victim was 15. It means under 15, not 16. Because if you're 16, you will not be arrested. And we will see later on that the victim was actually 13. So one charge, statutory rate, okay? Uh, person or person 15 year old, under 15, that is uh, the bond set for 50 grand. Another charge was placed, statutory uh, uh, sex offense. Uh, the first one was rape. The second is sex offense. Uh, under 15, 50 grand. All right, so, so far is 100. All right, likewise, the um, 
another statutory offense. It seems like there had been uh, like more than one occasion. So another 50 grand. In this uh, liberty with child, 25 grand. So that's like 175 already. Okay. That's just page, uh, one page. And page eight, another in this in liberty with child, another 25 grand. That makes them about like 200 grand. All right. Another in this in uh, liberty and another in this in liberty at the end. And that makes total 250,000 bond, right? So <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So 15 means like 15 years or younger, right? Not 16. So that is 15 or under. Exactly. Thank you, counsel. Now, this page is actually... Uh, showing that uh, uh, the National Sex Offender Public website. You can actually check out these links um, in the uh, in the description area. I type, can type Joshua Max Herbell <clears throat> because if you just type Ma Joshua Herbell, it's not going to come up. And I think that's one of the things should be corrected. Okay, Joshua Herbell. When people type Joshua Herbell, it will come up. His face, it, 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 his, he doesn't come up only when he, you type Max Harbell, okay? Because he goes by Joshua Harbell in California, all right? So he's, he's, that's another alias that I think the court kind of neglected. So in the de national database that when people search for Joshua, own Joshua Harbell, that also his result will and should come up. I hope that, that that would be taken account. All right, so you go to the National Sex Offender Public webpage, and then Joshua, type in Joshua, Max Herbell, and what you will come up is the, uh, the actual result. And here's the result that he actually come up. Now, if you have, um, if you can actually notice here, all right, it, the address uh, stated at 5822 West Park, all right? And, and it says residence. But if you actually do further research, it's not his residence. That's actually a hotel that he's staying, a low-budget hotel, that, that is, called the Comfort Inn in Charlotte Airport uptown. All right, it's not two star. Well, it's not four star, but it is two star. So address five eight two two West Park is actually comforting that he's staying right now. Now I'm not saying that this is, you know, he's doing something illegal, okay? But definitely this is not his so-called house. This is not his residency. If and when if and when he comes back to California, right? If and when he comes back to California, he will have to register his address right away. Yeah, I was if gonna not, say that. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say that. If not, he's going to jail, okay? So right now, so far, he has not violated anything yet, okay? Because it is true that he is staying in that hotel. His credit card statement, his all other things actually points to the fact that he is there, okay? Even right now. And that's why he cannot actually, you know, like when he does hang out, he has his smoky crap, you know, and hooded uh, satanic crap every time. And then he comes up and then, you know, he talk over that image, remember that? However, if you actually notice, since he went to, uh, you know, th uh, this place, he's been using not his PC, but his cell. In his cell phone, he has this crowned owl. And that's why he has that image on, because he's been using his cell, 
not his PC. He has not, he was not using so-called, um, what do you call that? Um, OBS. He was not able to use OBS because, you know, uh, that would be on his PC. But because he's using his cell phone, his ID always, or his profile picture always being so-called the owl, <laughs> crowned owl. Ooh, how convenient. <laughs> but anyway, so if you can check it out yourself. 5822 West Park is actually, um, uh, what do you call it, that uh, comfort in. Okay? Very comfortable, I guess. All right, so now if you actually click on that link on the uh, the search result, right, the search result that uh, say, hmm, where was it? Uh, on this right here, if you look, if you click on that on his name, on National Sex Offender Public Page, right, you will get to actually the. Uh, the detailed North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation and where he has been, you know, placed. The the actual record. All right. Now here is the date, March 30th, 22. All right. So that, this just happened a couple of days ago. All right. He has been convicted. Now he's officially a pedo. And I'm not going to like resolve resolve my myself, and he's officially one, and he's actually the one who has been lying, saying that we are lying, okay, calling Bill all kind of manners of name calling, calling me freaking satanist, <laughs> calling me what 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 else did they call me? Some kind of crap fetish idiot. All kind of lies that he has to fabricate in order to actually di uh, diminish what we had to say, all right? So here's the thing. This is actually the picture that he has when he was placed as, as, a, as a convicted pedo, all right? Yeah, and I want, so let's, I want, I want people to look at that face. I want people to look at that face, and, and especially his supporters, and try and have a conscience and say, why did you tremble at this man? Why did you think he was anything than what he is, which is a worm, a maggot? Look at him. It's a nothing. It's just a big, excuse my term, a big, nasty gobshite. And these people, these disciples of Smokey, have been following this dirty, filthy nonce. Look at him. Mark it well, and I hope it sears your conscience. You supporters, I'll shut up with that, but I'll get cross because they're supporters and all the crap that you've gone through, me, Cheryl, flipping Janet, and all the others, the wife, my family, our families, we're all involved in this because he got so personal and so evil. And look at it, all projection from this dirty nonce. All right. Beautiful beer, though. <laughs> but, okay, so, again, here on this page, it says... 5822 West Park, he used Comfort Inn address as his residency, as his residence. It's not like, I guess he's not, I guess he's not um, coming out to California. <laughs> I guess he's going to make that uh, inn, Comfort Inn, as home, all right? But, well, that's where he's staying, so staying right now. So, okay, so far as, so far as right now, because he's there, okay, so there's not much of violation. But, you know, what is the room number, buddy? Hmm? Where is the room number? Hmm? I, I, I mean, is Comfortine all your property? Certainly it's not. Certainly they should have some kind of room number. So even, even here, I can actually smell uh, dishonesty coming. But as I have said, if he doesn't register, the moment he come to California, he will be in deep trouble, deep, deep trouble. All right. Same thing. Okay. The, the height, well, he, he talks about how tall he is and how 
you know, the uh, what's what you call it? Um, um, what do you call that thing? <laughs> how giant he is, and um, how nephilim he nephilim he is, and all that. <laughs> so that's him, and he's going actually with um, that address. However, check this out. We're going to go a little further down the information. Conviction information. This is where I want to actually point out. All right, check it out. Check that out. What does that mean right there? Provation, status, description, victim's age offender's age so the victim wasn't like 15 and 11 month was she kenny boy hmm? yeah i'm still you... sorry I, I, i'm still disgusted that 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 kenny justified this wicked and even weaved a tale of a love story that man that bloke is just as sick as him we think disgust me well, here's the thing. Let's say Kenny Boy was, you know, he, he he fed the wrong information and he went with a lie. Okay? Let's say. But why is he still standing by Josh? Who is who has been lying, who has been using him as a front? You know? I mean, why is it that it's like he cannot even wake up. Oh, wait a minute. She was not 16 or 15. She was 13, actually. Younger than my daughter. Hmm? And also, here's the thing. I, I, I got to, like, you know, say this. I'm sure, you know, the victim... Um, she wants to put this to bed, I'm sure. Because at, during the time on the 30th, you know, he basically pled guilty. Okay, that's what happens. He went there to represent himself. He pled guilty. And obviously there is a reason why he did so. There was overwhelming evidence which he cannot, he couldn't deny, you know. So right now it's a public record, okay. The public record is in statutory right, in this liberty with, with a child. And guess what? 36 months supervised super, uh, probation, okay. That's three years. It says probation 36M, right? That means 36 month supervised probation, not just reporting, reporting, but supervised probation. I hope they supervise him well. Oh, yeah, he better. And guess what? You, if you keep your shenanigan up, Joshy, bye. I'm going to have to call your supervisor. <laughs> Do you understand what's going on? You're going to have to just... Ah, man, I'll save that. 30 years on the sexual sex offender registry. Not just 10 years. If you click 10 years on that link, all right, it's actually 30 years. At least 10 years. That's what it means. At least 10 years. 30 years on sex, uh, sex offender registry. So he's almost 40 right now. He's like 38, 39. So when he's 70, he'll finally have his name cleared. The thing is... I'll tell you what, he, he might have his name cleared on earth, but I'll tell you, unless he actually does repent, his, his name is not cleared in heaven, I'll tell you. Right. Of got course. to recant of all the wickedness that he's done for years man, man yeah yeah god, yeah. god, god will see justice trust me 
Well, it's, that's the thing. He thought that just him pretending to be a Christian. And can you imagine? And, and the victim would be even. I mean, I'm so glad in a way that she, she didn't stand up against God, because like a lot of times, you know, when victim finally uh, found out that this priest or whatever these guys had been raping him or raping them or whatever. They keep themselves away from God. They even like, you know, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know so, exactly what I'm talking about. Right. Yeah. These, yeah, they get totally turned off and then they walk away from God. And that's what Josh has been doing to this victim, you know? And not I mean, him, and not just him as well. And, you right, know, not right. just her as well. He's been doing it to everyone, it seems. He's got it yeah, in. an atheist on YouTube. Yeah. That man is filled with hate from Satan. Right. So he can he can crap out whatever he wants, I guess. <laughs> but it's final now. You know, the judge actually, you know, took all the evidence, heard the evidence, and sentenced him. Okay. What does that mean by sentence? Does it mean that he actually goes to jail and stuff? No, you don't have to. Judge sentence, sentenced him that for a certain amount of time, his name will be in the registry. And it does say that the victim was 13, not 16, 13. All right? And guess what? They don't, uh, do you think that the judge will say that, oh, yeah, she was 13? No, there got to be some sort of evidence that's compelling evidence that actually happened. So here's the thing. In so far as I'm concerned, in so far as I'm concerned, the victim, the victim is a survivor. I totally, totally believe that she is a survival. She is not, she's no longer, no longer a victim. Okay, and you know Josh can like you know spew out all his lies, his idiotic and demented, and twist all kind of crap and appeal himself to a religion. But guess what? You know she won. She won. She's a survivor. And he can he can say whatever he wants uh, on YouTube or whatever. And guess what? Josh knows what's going on. The victim, the survivor, knows what's going on. And more importantly, God knows. Yet he thinks that he can just run his idiotic mouth. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> give me a break. You know? Well, yeah. so, and every time, like I said, every time he puts a video up now, every time he dares open his mouth, and every time people support him, legitimately, we can say non supporters. You have no you have no place in the true body of Christ here. Proclaiming yourself to be a Christian with your profanities and your hatred and your blasphemies. We can all legitimately say that and rest on that truth and fact. Yeah. Just warning. Here's another warning, Josh. If you're going to use Christianity as your shield, hey. Forget about it, man. Forget about it. Worse things will come. All right, so I'm going to share the link out there. Um, bon, uh, I don't know what the, what your deal is. Um, come on in. Okay? Uh, I don't know if... Uh, you say that you don't do drama, yet you are the one 
doing <laughs> drama. <laughs> literally, literally a few days ago, he was he was bigging up Smokey and, and talking about fix shits the scat scat man. And this bloke is such a, an embarrassment. It, it really is. You know, he's, he's not the epitome of, of a troll. All right. uh, for uh, Stevens goes, um, probation is suspended in pos imposition of uh, sentence. In some cases, that means this could possibly be expunged from his record. Just saying, right, right, but no, not in, not in like uh, the uh, child rape, uh, statutory rape, and uh, in in case like that. Uh, I mean, regular regular things, uh, you know, I could understand, but like, not in in this case. So, so yeah, people, come on in, uh, Bon, uh, come on in. You know, and anyone who wants to uh, join, come on in. If you have any question, come on in. <laughs> I've just said Sam's going to send a join link, but you've already done it. So it's already up the top <laughs> pinned. You might have to tell people because not everybody looks up at the top for where it's pinned. But if you go right at the top of the screen, it's got the, the join link pinned. Where's Conboy, a.k.a. Jill? You know, I told him over and over. Uh, he's just hiding away. Still. Yeah, it's amazing, amazing how they hide away. Like, praise is usually all over your streams, you know, putting these usual ad hominems, and it's been surprisingly quiet today. Hmm. It's unusual, isn't it? It's All right, so, Bon, let me ask you a question. Uh, whether you call me whatever, I really don't care. I, I, I You know, whether you call me picky or a scat crap or, you know, Satanist, I really oh. don't care, man. Oh. I'll tell you one thing, though. I, don't, I care not for false things. I care not for lies. Okay, I am for the truth. Yeah. The question here lying. is that do you have any truth, Bond? Go ahead, no. bro. No. Yeah, he's lying because, yeah, I never even said that he called you scat man. I said, he said, fix shits and poo fetch. <laughs> so don't play words. Don't don't be meandering with your words and that lot. You know, if you want to me to show this screenshot, see so, you know, I do watch people like you because I've been watching people like you and all these other sociopaths for quite a while now. Hey, welcome, uh, Satori Tansi. Uh, it sounds like Japanese. Welcome to. Hi, uh, I'm not Japanese, but it sounds Japanese. Hello. Oh, okay. Because, like, I heard of uh, Satori Tansi, but uh, Satori Tansi, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's new to me, but welcome. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can pitch in anytime you like. If you have any questions, just let me know. Let's see. Yeah, Smokey should have uh, deleted his videos. Yeah, yep, exactly. I wonder if this will be enough to convince the ladies and seem to like bad boys that it's not good to hang out with angry men if they read the Bible that is there uh, several times. Ah, oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I seem to doubt that uh, he was a bad boy. Just saying. Oh well, I, I wouldn't say twenty-one year old boy, but yeah, well, you know, obviously bad, bad enough, you know. So, it for me, uh, I really like. Um, I mean, he's been doing a similar thing here on YouTube. The similar thing meaning like. He thinks he thinks that he can do whatever crap he wants, and then get away with it and not feel any kind of remorse. Or he would justify himself the same thing what he has done to uh, to this victim as you know what he has been doing. Um, so you know, I hope that he actually realized that he cannot do that anymore. Well, but I, knowing that, you know, if he continued to lie, obviously, then he's he has not truly repented about that. Right. But what I mean is that I think a bad boy image is, is a little bit different than uh, the way that I think he, he probably got her attention. Right, right. I mean, 
I don't know how he, I don't know how he actually got her, uh, the victim's intention, uh, interest or, or, but I, I really don't want to know about that. But the thing is that he was evil. I don't know why he did what he did. You know, it's hard for anybody to understand that if it's not something they would do. I don't know if you heard uh, me saying that my daughter, she's 14. And the victim was younger. Yes. Like 13. Oh, my Lord. At 13? I mean, a child. It just became a teen, but a child. You know? And a child would be manipulated and taken advantage of uh, by a fully grown adult at 21. It's just... It's just disgusting to me. It's sickening. And what is even more sickening is that he actually going on and on and defiant about how he's so innocent. You know? So that is actually even the problem that I have. And, and also, he, he actually puts Christianity as a shield to justify himself. You know, so there's absolutely no justification whatsoever for somebody who is an adult to have interest in somebody who is a child. There, there's no way to justify that, and especially considering that somebody who is 13, 14 years old, you can't even say that they look like they're older. Um, they look like they're a child. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, it does. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I can't. I no, can't I mean, get my. I, I just can't get my head round it. Like I said, I've, I've got four daughters. All right, one's in heaven now. Obviously, that's why I get angry with Smokey because he made fun of it when my 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 middle daughter passed away last year. That's why I get extra angry, with and she was a victim of similar circumstances to this lady whatever he done and what whoever her name is my daughter who passed away was a victim similar and so i've got a double whammy of yeah double whammy there of, of i think righteous indignation towards people like these smokies of the world that play that they're the victim yet done these most horrendous things and then double down and justify their horrendous things and but man flipping egg 13 14 and even 15 children like i said me, me oldest daughter's you know 33 the youngest is 18 you know they're still my children even though the youngest one's 18 but to contemplate in my brain them ever being courted when they was even 15 let alone 14 or 13 is yeah. is beyond my comprehension it's it's mentally ill and to justify that is is even more mentally ill and then to proclaim the name of christ and pretend to be some kind of apologetic good christian at the same time as that, it, to me, I find it disgusting. As a father and a Christian, I find it disgusting on all levels. Yeah. I, that's, that's the thing, man. It's like uh, he using Kenny Boy, you know, and he's using him as a front. He's using him to bail him out. He's using him um, in, in for uh, it's just like so narcissistic, you know, and there's so much, so, so many lies, and that he would use Christianity as a shill, he would use God and Jesus as some sort of like defense mechanism, you know, that is actually, I mean, uh, it's so sickening. If, but oh man. Why must he lie? 
if he's calling himself a Christian and then he actually truly repented, then he would actually come clean. Of course right? he would. That's, that's kind of Christendom 101, isn't it? Right. Realize you're a sinner and you've done wrong and you fess that up. Right. That's what you do. He hasn't even passed stage one of being a Christian. Like I said, I've done some bad things in my life, not, not on this sort of degree or anything like this, but I've done bad stuff in my life. And man, the first thing that happened to me when I became a Christian, I fessed it to God. Of course I did. God's not blind. Then I fessed it to me brothers and sisters. Let's be honest. We're supposed to be honest and truthful. But this right. this person, I don't mean, well, scarcely a person, a monster, does the opposite. Instead of fessing up and knowing they're wrong, and, 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 and wicked in that sense, they double down on it and make sure that they're the good person and everyone else is evil and how righteous right. they are. This is this is blows I mean it blows my mind, it really does. I just don't know. Oh. I'm I'm literally, and you know me, it's rare, I'm almost at a loss for words. Well, you know, I mean, he's been doing that on YouTube, and what he has been doing is that he's been lying against people, right? Not just reviling them, but lying against others. Why was he doing that? Is because he, you know, he he wanted to actually, you know, put their characters down, you know, put them down, so that whatever he, you know, cr he he wanted to cr crap would be one way or the other. He he thought that it would. Um, it would be legit. It would be legit. Hey, welcome, Daniel. There you go. First time the fir I can't hardly talk. I've been to the dance. The first time he <laughs> met me, <laughs> I think I'm a lip no. But the first time he met me, he called me a liar, and uh, he's hated me ever since. Well, I mean, obviously, that's what he has been doing. He's been like, yeah. you know, um, putting you down, um, putting your character down. He's not actually addressing whatever the points, but like, for example, he would put Bill down, he's saying that he has some sort of damnable heresy, putting me down, calling me some kind of like, I have some like scat poem fetish crap, stuff like that. And that I am some sort of Korean Satanist crap like that, calling me and calling everyone here some sort of names. You know, why he does it? Why he doesn't actually uh, address the point? Because why? He wants to put others down so that whatever he says with his fair speech, that he would convince his minions and other people. Yeah. And that's what he has been doing. Yeah, and the Bible mm -hmm. talks about that. S silly people and that lot of silly women have been caught up by fair speeches and stuff like that, having their ears tickled. But again, we know different because we've been Christians a long time. We've seen this so yeah. many times, so many times, and, and we try to warn people, but how can you warn anyone who's under a delusion, a strong delusion at that? Yeah, you, 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 you just gotta pray for them. <laughs> well, yeah, pray that God opens their eyes and the ones their eyes with the eyes have and yeah, that's all, do. that's all you can do. And, and like I said, it's not as if we haven't, like I said, believe it or not, it might not seem like I have, but I've earnestly prayed for loads of these supporters of Smokey that God would take those scales off their eyes and they will see him for the monster he is. But no, they haven't. And and what can we fathom out of that? We can fathom two things. One, they're tears. They're not saved. They're not even believers. And they're still blind. Or two, that they are literally Satanists. And they have no intent for Christianity. They come in the name of Christ, but they, they, they know not Christ. Neither are you known of Christ. You can't mm -hmm. fathom a born again Christian being that long, being deluded that long with all the warnings, all the scriptures, and everything else, and keep doubling down, just like Pharaoh. Because that's what it is. They they double down, God hardens their heart even further. They double down more, 
and we know exactly the story how that pans out for Pharaoh. Yeah. But that's why. The why is it? Is because pride, yes. and certainly pride is not of God, and certainly pride is of Satan, his daddy. Why yep. lie? Because the father of all lies is Satan. He lied perpetually, not just like once. He lies perpetually, meaning over and over. Why? Because his father is Satan. Don't call me a Satanist, Josh. You are actually the Satanist, and you know that you are a Satanist because you are the one who actually being have been lying over and over. You are the one who thought that the victims would be quiet. You are the one who thought that all these people whom you actually have reviled against, offended, would be kind of silent. You are the one, so-called, you know, the sheep will be quiet about this. Guess what? As the scripture says, you are being exposed totally. And all your stupid minions, including the Spokey, a.k.a. Mark, including uh, David, a.k.a. Todd, this news unit, all your minions, or in, including Crawler, all your minions cannot even show up here to defend for you. Can they, Joshibai? Nobody. No, very, very telling that. And also, what is telling, and you hit the down the head, pride, his pride blinded him. He thought that we weren't men and women of metal, that we could be silenced and subjugated by his hate, his threats, his blasphemies, his callous things that he said. But no, no, he doesn't understand Christians. He doesn't understand the Christ because we are more resolved. When you attack us, when you fire them fiery arrows, which you've been doing for a year and a half towards us, all that's done is made us more resolved in regard to the gospel, in regard to protecting the beloved, and in regard to exposing devils like Smokey. Simple as that. So I have a question. Um, how mm -hmm. was it discovered about these charges against him? Well, I was in a hangout. And someone came in and dropped a link, a link uh, to his so-called identity, because he wouldn't uh, come up. He has this satanic uh, hood, and he would actually re revile against other people, bear false witness, and lie against them, call himself as a Christian. Christian apologetic at that. And... You know, even myself, he was calling me all kind of names when I didn't even know the guy, right? So I went and faced him asking, why are you calling me even? And it, it turned out that he was being fooled by some people pretending to be me. And then he thought uh, there was a guy named Ryan, Johnny Ryan, he was keep feeding him and t telling him that, that those socks were me. But even despite the fact that I told him over and over that they have nothing to do with me and they are not me, he would continue with his reviling, continue with his false accusations. So I'm like, well, okay, well, we'll see about that. And I was having a hangout, in, and within that hangout, someone came in and dropped the link and it turned out that it was praise. Uh, his name is Tommy. He put the link there, and I did a further research, and actually the links were uh, actually pointing to uh, the page, the Mecklenburg, Mecklenburg uh, charge page. He wasn't, he wasn't convicted at the time, but he, the page that was actually pointing his charges. So upon further research, found out that he is actually the same person who came, who is in California. I don't know how and that happened in North Carolina. Maybe he was there in, in 21 years old. But the fact that there was only one guy 
nationwide. <laughs> if, if you search the whole nation, there is not one single person who has the same name, same last name, same middle name, same name as Josh and Joshua. So, you know, it turned out that he was a real estate agent, you know, and that's how I came to know, um, like, about him. And then um, I, I actually went to him privately, saying that if you don't stop, the worst things will come to you, come to him. And guess what? He was quiet for about a week or two, and then came back saying that you know the guy wasn't him. So, and then farther on. Uh, got developed into this, and finally, on the thirtieth, uh, like last month now, um, that he is convicted. You know, so I hope that uh, I hope that answer uh, your question. Yep. All right. Let's see. They should all realize that Discord is very hackable, and they love infiltration. I have gathered tons of info. Hmm, okay, I don't have Discord. I have one, but I don't. I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> when he attacks on my phone, I'm always sure to support them more and fire up my prayers. Up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Exactly. That's an important point. You know, while he was sending out him and Naughty Ken, he was sending out. You know, impregnatory death prayers and ills and all these things towards us. You know, the beloved who have kept an accord, love one another in that accord, and expose this monster for what he is. None of us had any ill or harm come towards us. Yet, those who were praying these wicked demonic prayers, man, some of them got the canobla. I have to be careful how I say that. All right, <laughs> some of them got the canobla. Uh, one attempted or, or, or wanted suicide, and lo and behold, God's justice has now been seen for all to see that we was right, God was right, and there was justice done. This this man, this smoky, is a nonce, and he's called out, and so are his followers. So mm -hmm. backfiring, impregnatory prayers mean nothing. You know who can lay any charge against God's elect? There's nothing, there's no scheme of hell, nor man, nor power or principality that shall bring or even harm a head, a single hair on the head of God's children. So, you know, they can stick that in their pipe and smoke it. They have got ill, they have been punished. God is going to see justice done now. And unless, literally, unless real genuine repentance and recantation is made, there's going to be ultimate justice come that great and terrible day. But as for me and my house, as for me and my beloved, we will serve the Lord, and we are very safe within the Lord. Thank you. Mm. Uh, hi guys, I just want, I'm going to go to bed in a minute, but I just wanted to say thank you like very much. Like, oh, welcome, Kenneth. Uh, by the way, sorry about hello, that. Hello, hello. Yeah. Uh, that's all right. Um, I just wanted to say thank you because I, I mean I've been watching Smokey for maybe two years now. I've just been absolutely mind blown um how awful he is and how anyone can support him or even think that this is i'm not saying he's not a christian i mean i don't think he's a christian but like you know i don't judge people like that but he his his behavior is on what he said to bill obviously that thing was like an unbelievable how he's treated you as well and some of the women in this community is absolutely unbelievable and to keep an eye on this and to make sure he doesn't get away with because he really explained this away I, I was it a year ago you brought this out and i thought how is he gonna how is he gonna get away with this how is he actually and he did everyone just seemed to sort of brush it under the carpet and even i thought oh well maybe there's nothing to it because you know he kind of the way he sort of handled it and uh i just yeah i just thank you for bringing this and making sure people understand and i really want to know what people like praise and Veckel. I don't know if Veckel still hangs around with uh, Smokey, but all these people that on the surface seem like good, you know, nice people. But, but how you can justify oh, any of this is, is unbelievable. That's all I got to say, guys. Well done. Like, and yeah, thank you very much. Well, thank you. God bless you. Uh, 
Well, it, it takes time. Uh, I'm a firm believer uh, that the uh, truth will uh, prevail eventually, obviously. Um, the uh, uh, Please ask Kat our opinions, Sam. So <laughs> there you go, Cheryl. Uh, but I, I really hope that uh, people, other people who, ha who have been following him would wake the heck up. And if you can, you know, please share you know, whatever, like, including this hangout uh, with these people, because, you know, some of these guys are so blinded. And unless they don't want to fall into the ditch, you know, if he, if they keep on following him, keep on following the blind, they, they all are going to fall into the ditch. So I really hope that, that the truth uh, will, it will get to them. And if I actually, you know, if if I actually see them uh, not even doing anything about it, not being able to call them out, not being able to, you know, just being just totally dormant, nonchalant about what he has been doing, either online and offline, I I I don't know what to say about about such things. I mean, I could understand, like for example, when we just came up with this in the beginning, you know, about this so-called pedo allegation, and I never said that, you know, he did what he has done, but now after the thirtieth, after he's convicted, it's it's not finally clear. And he said but, he pled guilty as well. He actually pled right. guilty. So it was not like, <laughs> well, obviously because the uh, why was he pleading guilty? Because the evidence is overwhelming. The evidence was there. He's yeah. so there was there were not going to be any trial. He had already pled guilty. I don't know whether he had to pay bond, probably ten percent, you know, to to get himself out. But if if his minions who still follow him, I I just don't well, know. It, yeah. Well, there's only two ways it's going to go, Sam. Let's be honest. Let's call it as it is. If they are tears, they're going to double down. If they are genuine born-again believers, they will bring upon some kind of repentance and recantation never seen before on YouTube. That's what I believe. Because what mm. the, here this man has been so vile to so many people that it puts even man i was there right at the beginning years ago with you sam you know with a great debate between christians and atheists and yeah there was some naughtiness going on there there was a little bit of ad hom and that lot but nothing i mean absolutely nothing in the degree of what this smoky saint has done to people not just christians but other people who could be potential christians those who are just seeking the truth or even atheists or anti fierce God does not respect for persons. He loves everyone and desires all be saved. Can you just not people fathom the damage this man has done? It's almost unfathomable. It really is. And those who have supported him all this way, again, there's only two options. A recantation repentance like we've never seen before or double down and, and shown they literally are tears from Satan. Well, I mean, he's going to have to be convicted first to actually repent. When we all know who are truly born again in the Holy Spirit, we all know what happened at, on that day. And, you know, we actually were convicted and then we actually confessed and actually have repented. But I don't see this happening from Josh whatsoever, not even one bit. One day God will grant him repentance, and and then he will feel, you know, total conviction. But until then, he's going to use Christianity as a shield, use Kenny Boy as a shield, pretend that he's some sort of like a, a Christian or follower of Christ. That's what he'll be doing. I mean, it, I was knowing all this. Okay, can you imagine knowing all this? I was so disgusted. Him with him pretending and speaking for the Holy Ghost, speaking and, and justifying himself about his reviling against other people. 
offending other people in so many level you know as you have said as as a christian you are to love one another yet there's no love but hate nothing but hatred i mean it's it's not as dreamman said rocket surgery to figure out what he is so when i see this him pretending like this and i see his followers just kissing his butt i sincerely hope and pray that they will wake the heck up you know truly if they're truly especially like a young kid like mark from philippines this kid is only like 26 or so and yet he's so gaga over you know josh's fair speech and he thinks that that's where pretentiousness would get in to the kingdom of heaven. It's just, no. Please wake the heck up. You know, the truth has been finally confirmed, revealed, and that guy has been nothing but lie. Nothing. Do you think Smokey is a real Christian? Because if you go through his channel, I mean, <laughs> it'd be hard to, hard no, to come. Well, to personally, for me, no. No. Personally, for me, I don't think that he is a Christian whatsoever. What, what do you think, Bro Bill? Uh, do you think that he's a Christian? No, I, to me, no. no right. because... man, man. And, and you know me, I'm full grown hyper grace believer. Right. Grace is so abundant, but no way is this person a Christian because even within my theological school, even hyper grace, there, there, there has to be a genuine understanding and acknowledgement in truth of the wrongs you've done. Not a line about it, not trying to sweep it under the carpet, not trying to do all this. And that, that's basics. But this person, this smoky, doesn't even get there. He does the opposite. He justifies right. all the evil he does. This is, this is satanic, not Christian. So in, in a simple terms, there's no way this Smokey is a new birthed, genuine Christian. He might take the title of Christian because he's read, you know, theological papers and he's, you know, his vernacular is good. But that doesn't make you a Christian. What makes you a Christian is new birth in Christ, not being intellectual, cleverer, or being an open thesaurus like he is. So, yes, simple answer is no, he's not. And also, like, I actually ask his minions to provide any kind of reason or cause uh, to why they believe that he's a Christian. And so far, nobody, nobody was able to give me any reason or cause that, you know, Josh is actually a Christian. Um, and, of course, I have to actually hear them, uh, what they say and, and Maybe they heard uh, Josh's testimony, whatever. But so far, nobody was able to provide anything. And that's one of the things that I actually ask uh, guys like uh, Jill, a.k.a. Convoy, uh, guys like Todd, a.k.a. News Unit. I ask these guys, you know, give me one reason why they believe that Josh is a Christian. Nobody was able to provide. In instead, rather than answering, they would go somewhere else. You know, doing the same thing like Josh has been doing, insulting you and putting you down. And that's what he has been doing all throughout, even on YouTube. So, no, he's definitely not a Christian. Because Christian, according to the scripture, also is a follower of Christ. A follower is someone who would actually have his own cross following Christ and following his commandments when the commandment is actually not grievous and that is to uh, believe on christ and love one another but rather he is totally a, a do against such things he believe on other uh, jesus believing on another her gospel saying that you know you can lose your salvation saying that god can take away your salvation saying that your eternal security is not eternal. It's saying that um, 
you know, um, hating is being a Christian, S- justifying his name calling, justifying his hatred, reviling, lying. No, these are not Christian thingy. Certainly, even so blatantly, he has been lying even throughout right now. So, no, he's certainly not a follower of Christ. Do you know what? It's embarrassing. And I don't mean this derogatory towards atheists or anti-theists or even agnostics. Is that I've seen more of Christ in these people than I have this smoky. No, I mean, it's about the truth. Okay. And if he's not uh, being truthful whatsoever, what can I do about it? (laughs) It's on him, obviously. And also what's on me is actually, you know, uh, mark and avoid as such and expose them. One other sheep, one other sheep and actually, you know, tell them what's going on. And that's what we've been doing. And I've been getting all kind of rap, you know, um, for almost um, over a year, being called so many things, so many lies. But, you know, Christ is faithful, obviously, and also the uh, truth. Christ is the truth, and the truth finally comes and revealed. Do you think this will um, do a lot to convince some of his uh, people? Because the thing is, there was a lot of this evidence was sort of there already. Do you know what I mean? And there was there was a lot of things about that he'd lied about his name, given different phone numbers, changed his story. The Jesse Lee Peterson thing, which is unbelievably obviously him. Right. Do you know what I mean? And um, you know, this is like the file nail for me anyway, which is just like you can't like he's pled guilty at the at the end. You know, there's no like there's no question. But there should have been enough there for people to be suspicious on top of his behaviour and his language and his treatment of other people. I, so I don't actually have that much faith. For, no, for I don't. People. To be honest, to be honest with you, Cap. First time I've ever heard your voice and spoke to you. But hello and God bless. Um, God bless. I personally think the majority are going to double down. They're going to double down and they're going to justify his wickedness. And my prayer is that, you know, those who are remnant within that group would come out from among that monstrosity. I pray that and hope that, but I've got to be honest. Yeah. In practical, I think their consciences have been so seared, they're going to double down and they will do, as the proverb even says, they're going to double down they are literally going to justify wicked. They're going to, and and they're going to condemn, continue condemning the just. That's what the proverb said, and, and I just I see that panning out. Sad, but I think that's what's going to happen. Well, if I remember correctly, was it part of the justification that Mary was like thirteen and Joseph was thirty? So. Yeah. I, I don't think the it coming out that she was thirteen is really going to make any difference. No, and that's bullshit anyway. There's no that doesn't actually depict uh, uh, Mary's age uh, there because she was put it this way under the law at the time. There, she was at the age to be betrothed and married, so she wouldn't have been a little girl that Kenny Rhodes is trying to say, and Joseph, an old man, almost at death's door. You know, the truth is in between that, that she was the age of marriage. They were betrothed to be married. And obviously the the the, the wonderment of the the the, 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 the virgin birth, etc., obviously speeded things along. But she was the age of legal marriage. So she wasn't a little child. I've heard this this lie before. And I'm saying Oh. He's been called. <laughs> oh, by the way, Kent, it's thick shades. <laughs> okay, and Jenny, Jenny goes, Kenny was saying, oh, it was young love and blah, 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 to avoid force issue. See, that's the thing, isn't it? Um, and I don't I don't know. Rob believes that uh, uh, injustice has occurred to Josh. I mean, he, he was fed with lies, obviously. He was fed with such lies saying that the victim was 16, almost 16, 15 and 11 months. 
and he was screaming his tongues long out on, on my channel. Now, go ahead. Sorry, uh, GY6, that's not the case. Uh, it was not when she was six and he was 15. She was 13 and he was 21. And the, also, uh, to, to clarify the force issue, the thing with statutory rape is different than regular rape. Statutory rape uh, means that there can be an existing uh, relationship. Statutory rape means that the person is under age, uh, that mm -hmm. one person is under age. Uh, so that can mean that there is what uh, one person could believe is a relationship taking place. So it could be a situation where they are considered a boyfriend and girlfriend, where the sex is consensual. However, because the person is under the age of consent, um, consent is not possible with somebody who is a minor. Um, right. So a person who right. is a minor cannot consent to having sex. Well, yeah, right. that's common sense. You're not, not fully matured especially in the mind so yeah you know this is just because say say for example i'm just throwing this out say for example there was a 14 15 year old girl that looked mature bodily they're not mature mentally to to bring proper consensual you know within that sort of thing and, and you know, any any man worth his metal you know wouldn't wouldn't push things or push a relationship to a child. This is this this you know this is even beyond my comprehension. It, it, it literally is. You know, if some when my you know when my daughters were fifteen, if you know, and, and say a twenty odd year old bloke knocked on the door and said, "Oh, it is blah blah blah." There, we got a shoot or a date. You know, I slap them around the head and say, "Get out of here." Of course, they're not ready to flip and do that sort of thing. What's the matter with you? But I've, that's got, this, um, yeah. I've, I've got to go, but I just wanted to ask one thing about this as well. Did you say that Kenny was making a story that there was like some love thing? Do you know what I mean? Like trying to yeah. justify it. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. It was, yeah, and Kenny was justifying. He's doubling down and say, imagine that someone's 15 year old and 11 months and they fell in love with an older man. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And you think, and then and then he goes down and perverses the scripture and say, "Well, Mary was only like twelve or thirteen, and Joseph was like thirty or forty. And you think that's a lie in itself because it doesn't designate the age of Mary. And all we know historically is Mary was the age, the legal age of marriage, whatever that was there, where it was fifteen or eighteen. I don't know." But whatever age, it was the legal age for marriage between Joseph and Mary. So it wasn't like Joseph was an old man, you know, eyeing up this like 12, 13 year old Mary. And, and he tried to bring that one up. It, it, man, he's doubling down. It's not only disgusting in justifying Smokey, but it's disgusting in trying to insinuate God endorsed paedophilia. Yeah. And he, he's, man, and this is coming from a so-called PhD. Yeah, he's. I mean, there's something not quite right with Kenny. I don't know if he's like got problems or do you know what I mean? Like, he's, you know, he seems just a bit mad. Like, yeah. You know, well, I mean, what uh, as as Rob said before, you know, uh, Kenny thought at least right now. I mean, he, I'm sure. I hope that he corrected himself. Kenny thought that. Uh, uh, some sort of injustice happened to Josh, right? Because, like, it, he was fed certain information that the victim was 15 and 11 month old, and there was love uh, involved and some sort of relationship involved. And obviously, he would appeal to his wife, who is so called paralegal, and saying that, oh, yeah, just because there it says 15. And Josh says, yeah, you know, she, she was 15 and 11 years, uh, 11 months old. So he obviously thought that, you know, the victim was almost 16 years old when 15 actually means 15 or under. Could be 15, could be 14, 
could be 13, which is 13 in this case, obviously. So even, even the court realized and recognized that now even the record shows that the victim was 13. Now, you, just by that fact alone, if Kenny still goes on, you know, uh, just standing up for Josh, for example, I, I don't know what to say about that guy, man. He's totally lost. It doesn't matter whether he has thousand a PhD or doctor or whatever, pastor. doesn't matter. This guy has no clue what is true or false. I feel like, point. I don't know, this is too judgmental. He, like, he's having like a bit of a breakdown or something. Do you know what I mean? like, it doesn't, he doesn't seem quite rational to me anyway. He's not. He's smoking, yeah. yeah. No, 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 Kenny's not rational at all. He's coming off an opiate addiction. So he's got his own oh, right. okay. issues. And okay. like I said, if we wanted to be kind and give him the benefit of the doubt, we could say you know, the fog of everything because you're coming off opiates would kind of semi allow for your, your stupid inane videos and the like. But I believe... And I think most people with more than three brain cells know that he's, you know, he's been friends with Smokey for a while and he went down uh, uh, to court with Smokey that he knows all the facts. And what he done was a blatant and bold lie to defend mm. a nonce. And yeah, that's man. wrong. That's wrong. Yeah. That's a suspect. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Laugh, to say the least. It's just like... <laughs> Well, anyway, well, thank you guys. I've got to go to bed, but um, like honestly, I think like I know I'm just been lurking this community. I've been I've been, I've just been waiting for this to sort of come out because the smoke is a wrong and like in my way, he's oh, wrong yeah. now. It's not even my opinion. It's fact. Yeah, you you sound anyway. you sound almost like you're part, part from my part of England. I'm from uh, London, Twickenham. Oh right, so you you're, yeah, well yeah, I'm from obviously Colchester, Essex, massive here. Yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Twickenham, Twickenham. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's my wife's end of the wood. That's where she was born. That sort of area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was, it was nice, to, nice to chat to you guys, and uh, All right, God mate. bless. All right, All right. Oh, care, thank guys. you, thank you for coming by, Cat. God bless you. Yeah. God bless. All right, well, so Kenny knows all the facts. I'm sure Kenny still believes the same thing. Kenny heard the victim statement. I'm sure. But, well, if so, as I have said. You know, he is actually lying for liar. <laughs> and anyone who goes um, with his lie, hey, it's still a lie. I mean, the paper is, is, is clearly state. You can actually, the links are uh, below. You can actually uh, check it out. The victim was 13 and he was 21, right? Now, Kenny was saying otherwise. Totally different story. So if he still believes that lie, then you know he's a liar too. And yeah. Well, yeah. no liar shall inherit the kingdom of God. They seem to love their lies. Yeah, yep. Smoking has a lot in common with Muhammad. <laughs> well, anyway, maybe he should convert. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Well, what do you think, bro? Uh, the uh, do you think that the the uh, I, I'm curious to know, you know, what kind of minions um, now will follow still. Josh, you know, and whether they will actually uh, have guts enough to actually face the truth. To me, I don't have much hope for them because it's been over a year since they've been doing what they've been doing, you know, going with a lie and just totally uh, dogging on other people who. Uh, who are actually coming up with lie? I mean, with truth. So, eventually, the truth is finally being revealed. What do you think, bro? Do you think that um, you know some people will actually repent? 
and come to the truth or or what 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 do you think that will happen I, again i'm being honest i stand in doubt i because i believe most of these people are infiltrators within the christian community and they're gonna they're gonna double down and they're gonna you know back up smokey regardless that's my honest opinion there might be a few that that are genuine christians they get you know they they get a damn good spanking from the lord and, and they come out from among that that filth and, and apologize i mean vehemently apologize for the lies and the defending of a nonce but i think that's very doubtful I honestly think most are hardcore pseudo Christians. I mean, literally pseudo Christians. Like we've even spoken to them uh, when Andy and his channel. We've spoken to a few of them live, and they're clueless to the Christ, clueless to the gospel, clueless to the scriptures, and, and their only claim to be Christian is, I've read the Bible, and I've read some person who said this and said that about this verse and I follow Smokey and he's a good apologetic. That's their claim to Christianity, most of them. No new birth, nothing else. This is what I've, I've noticed with most of them. So that's my personal opinion. I pray I'm wrong and that you all would repent, they would all recant, but I stand in doubt. Yep. This and is also, I just want not the oh. plural turner. <laughs> hold on, hold on, <laughs> Mr. Fla. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to say to Kent Hovind CPA. Um, yeah, you know, I understand. I it's funny, but uh, it's, we gotta sometimes be serious when it needs to be. So, you know, if you can actually save Peter joke, uh, I really appreciate it. By the way, uh, um, um Attention, attention, attention. attention. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Not floor, floor Tony, Tony is, is here. here. How are you, Rob? Hey. Everything cool? Yes, it is. I love that you have sound effects now. It's very, very good. <laughs> Not only reverb, but echo. Yes. I, don't yeah, even have echo. <laughs> I think I can turn I think I have echo on my mixer, so I could do that too. That might be better. <laughs> but yeah, so the, the expose is, uh, yeah, everything, you know, I told you to tread carefully before you'll remember way back when, because uh, mm. because of the denial and these kind of claims are, are pretty uh, scary claims to be putting out there in terms of kind of like a, um, a per se violation defamation if you claim someone is something that they're not, you know, and when it comes to pedophilia but now i would tell you the legal advice would be uh you don't have that issue anymore number one and number two uh but still from a christian standpoint is to is to still uh i don't know you, you've done the oh, best yeah, i agree I, I, I don't know yeah, if you, you're here you know when we are, right right yeah. i mean I, I don't know if you're here i uh when we uh, first mentioned that it's not about like whatever the uh, action or whether he's a murderer or rapist or whatever, that's not actually the, the main issue. Yeah. I'm sure for the victim, I'm sure it is. However, for me as a Christian, and I'm sure uh, Bill will feel the same, the issue is that he's constant denial, yeah. uh, lies, doubling down, you know, that sort of things. I, I don't I don't see that from genuine Christian. Yeah, um, there, to to me, there's there's limited doubt now based on his response to you. Um, look, I know a guy like in this situation would want to uh, protect himself, I guess. So I sort of understand that. But I, I think the circumstances that surround everything, the bottom line is that everything that he calls other people, uh, particularly the men in this community, it, it there is no doubt in my mind and it, it doesn't go to opinion anymore that he's a master projection everything he says about other people yeah, uh, the, so, the soy boy claim the you know uh the the, the liar uh the the blatant sinner the reprobate 
I don't know. It's uh, it seems to me that he kind of fits that profile. I'm very, very sad for the victim uh, for what happened. I'm very, very happy for her uh, for the result, though. Um, so that's a good thing because it was a long time ago and it would be very easy for the court to have swept it under the rug. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not my, my issues are pretty similar to yours as well, Rob. And I, I know, for example, again, and you know me, I'm full blown greased up. Yeah. If, if say for example, I was him, I'm trying to put myself in his shoes. Not that I could, cause I wouldn't even want to entertain that, but, if I was a genuine born again Christian and this stuff was coming out, uh, two things I would do. One, I would make public apology for my past wickedness. Mm. And secondly, I would shut my channel down and dare not even acclaim myself as anyone as an apologetic or, or whatever within Christianity. Mm -hmm. I'll to exist. Yeah. And again, and that's not being horrible, but that's just being factual. You know, even, even Paul says, you know, not to suffer murderers. You know, this is talking about leadership in the church. You know, you know, if, if you, even if you're an ex murderer, an ex rapist, we're not obviously including Paul here because that's a different example. But in regard to being within the ecclesia, to have in a position or assume in a position as an apologetic, you know, no, that, that place doesn't belong to these sort of people. It doesn't. Again, I'm not saying these people can't be saved. Absolutely not. But to assume and haughtily lie a, a, about such past wickedness shows and proves the point why you exactly shouldn't be an apologetic why you shouldn't be claiming you're the best Christian, why you shouldn't be condemning other Christians, why you shouldn't be coming against grace, because all of those things are completely contra to, you know, the Christian. Yeah, I, Smokey should thank God for his grace. Uh, <clears throat> yes, and he hates grace. He, he seems to despise it. You're right. Yeah, and again, this is the problem. Like I said, if I, again, I'm trying, I can't, and obviously I can't because I'm not him, but if I was in his position, I would never condemn a single person ever because I would justly deserve to be condemned and I would keep my mouth stump and be very thankful and very grateful that I'm even going to heaven if I was saved. Mm -hmm. in his, but he's proven to me, again, I'm not God, only God knows, but he's proven to me Within his mannerisms, what he says, he's doubling down his hatred, his variance, his reviling, his accusations, his habitual lying, that this person has not received new birth. This person. Well, let me, yeah, let me just say here's here's where I think that he, you know, and I, I imagine you guys will disagree with me to some extent. I don't know if you will, Bill. I think that Sam will. I, I think that he deserves both pity and our mercy, as hard as it is. Because I I suspect I think it's pretty obvious to me now that this has become factual, that the anger that he has, that he throws out at other people, I think it, it you know it's like God said out of the the heart the mouth speaks. I believe that he has so much inner hatred and inner turmoil that that is what exists inside of him, and that's what comes out. And so he, he views himself as so filthy that I think that he, he has difficulty understanding God's grace, thinking that it's not available to him. And um, so I, I feel more sorry for him than anything else. I think who I'm most disgusted about, and this will probably generate some kind of stream where he's going to want to head to my area, call my pastor and try and kick my ass, I guess, is... Uh, Good old Pastor Kenny. He's the one that dis I mean, look, the actions of Smokey disgust me to no end. That's that's the number one. But as we exist here now, uh, it's Pastor Kenny uh, and his actions right now. I'm glad you know it's it, it's pastoral. I think to try and help somebody in this situation and to help his family. But then to do well, what he well, did. I did for me. Come on. Video he did. Did you see the video he did about? Uh, Ryan, and you know, I'm no fan of Ryan. I, I don't watch his stupid channel anymore. Well, he wants to, listen, go, he wants listen, to go kick I Ryan's ass. <laughs> I don't, I don't, you know, here's the thing. 
Mm. I really don't, I could care less about this idiot. That's, that's my part. I mean, I don't feel mercy for the, the scribes. I don't feel mercy for this lawyer when they were passing by the, the fallen. Okay. Whom I would be felt, uh, feeling mercy for would be the, 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 the one who fell among the thieves. I'm not going to feel, feel mercy for uh, those who have passed by, especially, you know, throwing stones at other people. Yeah. Now, I, now I understand what, that. But this I, is know. when I'll feel mercy. This is when I'll feel mercy. Okay. I'll feel mercy. I'll feel mercy if and when he truly, truly repent and come to Christ truly. That's when I'll feel mercy. We'll because at how, that, we, how we know that? I mean, he could say. Well, at that, that time, pe some people will stone him for coming to Christ sincerely. Then I'll feel mercy. But until then, no. I'll be quite indifferent. I, I'm not saying that, you know, I, I, I hate him. I'd never hate, hated the guy. I'm sure the victim would, would, uh, would have a lot of different opinion, but I'm not the victim. But I'd rather feel uh, mercy for the victim than uh, the offender. Oh, I, I have no, yeah, I, I don't disagree with that at all. Uh, I think the victim mm -hmm. is, it would be my number one issue. But the, the, we're talking about Smokey. We're, you know, this is a chat about Smokey, not the victim. And the victim hasn't chosen to come out and reveal herself. So, um, this is, uh, you know, my, I'm only speaking as a, as a believer in Christ, as, and someone who hopes that. Smokey, someone like Smokey can experience the love and the forgiveness and the grace of Christ and not exist in such a state of turmoil. In other words, it gives me more of an understanding of why Smokey is such an enormous asshole um, to the extreme. Like what he did to Bill and his family is unfathomable to me, but that is that can only come out of such self-hatred. Uh, that's the only way that I can... Uh, explain it and and now i sort of i think we have a better understanding of where that self-hatred comes well it could either, it's either one or two scenarios i understand where you're coming from rob and if we're talking about a normal human being like me and you that that they would call like emo perhaps you know yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I could understand that but my I, the way i fathom him is he's a sociopath and there's no inner turmoil he's mm. a sociopath and what he done he would justify perversely that so that's the scenarios if he is like us has the same cognitive mental dissidence that we do you know understanding mm -hmm. then i suppose you could peradventure see oh he's coming from this his hatred is because he's got inner turmoil that's a very oh, good point that's a I very understand. good point but yeah. if it's a sociopath which i for, for more personal reasons and you know them mm -hmm. lean towards then there's no inner turmoil he's literally a sociopath and he has no care nor nor even fathom consequences of the wicked he does because in his eyes is justified and he's logically refined that as a justification in whatever sociopathic scenario he's he, he's he's entertaining that's very very likely and I, and yeah. why and a wise comment so in that case what then what i think the only value that we can get out of this i think is for particularly our sisters particularly for you and your family too but especially the sisters because i know you can handle it and i know your wife can handle it but for the the, uh, the sisters in this community who have been uh, called numerous names and certainly upset and, I, and probably carried it with them, that they can know if, if that is the case, Bill, and I think that you, it's a good point. It is a high possibility. I just don't understand, you know, that. I oh, know, and we can't because we are what he would call emopaths. In other words, we're grounded human beings that yeah. we, we understand emotions deeply and also logic deeply. Then why, yeah, why, while he condemns us for being having emotions and being emotion led, we can understand that what he, what's coming out of his mouth is being directed by Satan, uh, by and so that's why I hope the sisters in this community, you and your family, can understand that uh, 
that is Satan trying, to, in my opinion, trying to attack you for uh, living in the comfort, joy, and peace that is found in Christ. Oh, yeah. and that, that is Satan's attempt to bring you out of that. And so, oh, yeah, uh, and Cheryl, Cheryl put a bunch of strong arms there, see, because they're they're strong too. But I know, I know it has to. I mean, it bothered me. It still, you know, bothered me to some extent, you know, because it's it's put on a public forum when he calls me a fat faggot or a sycophantic moron, uh, or I had to pay somebody off to pass the bar. Um, not that that you know bothers me to the point where I'm like crying when I drive home, but but you know it's it, when you when that happens online, I think I'm I've built a callus for it over the last 16 years too, but it's still it's not a nice thing, and and still I view it as a as a satanic attack to try and attack our identity in Christ. Well, and, yeah, that's he's behind again. He's behind every scheme and cruelty and every fallenness within mankind whether we like it or not he's behind there ever whispering and ever trying to manipulate and contort that's right he, he, and that's yeah that's 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 basic yeah th th this is why i pray that people fathom that that there there is an enemy of your soul out there yeah, it yeah. really is and he's the he's the author of all wickedness Contrary to what universalists say, will they try and say it's God? No, ignore that rubbish. No, Satan is the author of all evil that has ever occurred. So every death, every rape, every murder, every ill that has ever gone on, this is Satan. Mm -hmm. It's not God. And and I want people to understand that and and, and, and so they can grasp that God is actually the good one. He really is, contrary to what some people might say, atheists and people anti-Christian. It doesn't matter what they say, but, you know, seek the scriptures. Let them yeah. speak. That. And, and if you read that, you will see. You yeah, have Jan an enemy. Speaking of that, Janet wants us to read Proverbs seventeen fifteen, and it's acquitting the guilty yeah. and condemning the innocent. The Lord detests them both. Yeah. They are an actual fact because I'll read from the you know, like, KJV, so you got to read in KJV. Yeah, I, I understand this better. I totally <laughs> understand this better. Watch, yeah. what does the KJV say? It's going to make says, me I'm going to get he, a headache. Yeah, he that justifies the wicked. Oh my gosh, what, it might as well be. Why don't we read the Korean? Can we do that? No, no yeah. man, come on. What the heck? He, I'm just saying. He that, he that justify the wicked and he that condemneth the just. Even they both are an abomination unto the Lord. Oh my goodness. And I think yeah, that's. I mean, that, I, 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 I totally agree with that. You, How do you, you say amen in old English? English? How do you How say do, what? How do you say amen in old English? Ameneth? What do you say? No. No, amen. Oh, I can just say amen in that too? Yeah, you, no. get, yeah, you, you don't need to add the F. Ameneth. You don't have to do that. No, Ameneth vowel. You can actually, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, right, right. I'm gonna to have to go for a way and we're back in a second. All right, mm -hmm. I may have to. Hey, by the way, Rob, do you um remember like uh in Matthew 18, uh, I think about like 20 or 21 to 35, the uh, there is a parable Christ talks about the parable of the uh, the wicked servant or the uh, -huh. uh the merciful king, right? Yeah. Yeah. Remember when King. Uh, forgave that wicked servant. Mm -hmm. He didn't just forgive, right? He, the more the uh, the wicked servant actually begged, you know, asked the the king for the forgiveness. So, but then uh, what I'm saying is that then I'll feel more. I mean, I feel I'll feel mercy for even for the wicked one. However, however, if he just continue to be defiant and lie, then no, I will not feel merciful. That's that. That was what I was saying. You know? Yeah, no, that's okay. I just I feel I feel. Uh, I'm not saying that I, because uh, he's a guy that continues to exist in the same lane, so to speak. So he continues to do things that are hard to forgive. What what, what I my main point is that I. In the same way that I would pass by somebody who I knew definitively was possessed by a demon, 
and there was and I and I could try and you know uh, seek to heal that person and if it if it was beyond my abilities let's say to to, to get that demon out of the person outstanding my prayers I would feel uh, sadness for that person that they're stuck in that situation and and my prayer would then be to hope that someone else could help get him out. Right? Well, uh, I would I would feel the same way. However, the person who uh, who was possessed, he he wasn't possessed by his choice, right? However, yeah. he wasn't evil by his choice. That's what I'm saying. However, yeah. guys like Josh, man, he he actually chose to lie. He freely chose to continually, perpetually lie. So. Uh, no, until he. Well, here, remember this. Stop, remember that. Remember uh -huh. when he, when he, uh, uh, when he was gone for a while, uh, right? And it was sort of when this kind of came back, and maybe when there was a hearing date set around that time, and then he just kind of disappeared. And then there was some inkling. You might know this better than I do because I only know from sort of hearsay. But there was a comment about it was another one of his family members, and that person that tried to commit suicide, you know, or something like that. <laughs> do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> and so, I mean, could could not. And that's why I feel sad, too, because is that a possibility that he did? He, in fact, actually do that or try? Well, another lie, isn't it? I'm not I don't know. To... I don't know whether or not. it is. Well, either. no, he doesn't. Maybe that's have why any... maybe that's why Pastor Kenny got into the business. You know, He doesn't so. have any family member uh, would be in. in, in well, we know that's situation. a lie. Yeah, we know that's a lie. Right. So, so I'm uh, saying is could, could it be that he himself. Maybe that's why he was gone for a while. Maybe he was in some kind of... Oh, he's not going to pull any kind of victim card. He's not going to gain any kind of, uh, you know, any kind of sorry. He's not going to, you know, gain any kind of compassion with his lies. Yeah. If he wants mercy, he will actually be truthful and honest. That's when he would be, um, uh, he would actually be granted with mercy. Well, I think Until that's going to... Yeah, I think it's going to take a miraculous work of the spirit for that to happen. So oh, that's, of course, that's, that's why. That's what I'm that's saying. That's why I'm compassionate that when, for that to happen. You know? Right, right. Of course, that's what we should pray, and we should actually, right. you know. Right. Uh, but until then, until actually God grants him with repentance, then mm -hmm. obviously that that will not happen. Yeah. So here's the thing: when I, I would consider this for Josh, at least, as some sort of opportunity, and a chance to actually come to Christ truly, truly uh, come to repentance and believe on Christ truly, not some idiotic, uh, damnable heresy saying that God will take away your salvation, not his some sort of idiotic theology saying that, you know, oh yeah, you got to believe in certain theology to be saved, not him just reviling against others, all that. You know, all those will uh, will diminish, will wash the way. All his crap will be washed away if mm -hmm. and when he truly come to Christ. Mm -hmm. However, he's going to have to take this as an opportunity. If he keeps, if he keeps on hiding, if he keeps on lying, this will never happen. God will yeah. never grant him with repenting heart. Yeah, I I agree with that. That's where we can agree. Right, and that's that's what I said earlier. If you're generally born again and you did such a most wicked thing, you'd be filled of remorse. You wouldn't even feel worthy. Yet this person thinks they're more than worthy. And it's it's the complete opposite to, to a genuine conversion. Mm. I mean, it's completely opposite. You know, you, you had the woman. That obviously the woman who, who who was a prostitute, she didn't go in. Uh, you know when Jesus, you know she washed his feet of her tears and wiped him with her hair and anointed him with expensive oils. That was her genuine obeisance towards Christ. So she was genuine in her in her belief and conversion. So she we're going to see her in heaven. You know, but if you could imagine that scenario, smoke, you smoke, you go in there and say, F you, Jesus, I don't need to wash your feet. I'm the best. I'm so good at everything. I'm the best apologetic. I don't do no wrong. I'm bloody excellent. I am. I went, I went, uh, I went, uh, 
flipping Lutheran private school. Mum and Dad got loads of money. I'm the best. Anyway, I'll have a bit of that oil off that prostitute, that whore, that slag who's crying over your feet. Let's take that away from that slag, that bitch of whore, because I'm the best. That would be smoke. You see, that is not genuine Christian. And this is the two scenarios. One, you're dealing with, an, I'll call it an emo path, just for a bit of a term. You could call it a, round, you know, a rounded human being at, versus a sociopath smoky. Them two scenarios, you know, when Jesus is eating with a, you know, the Pharisee and that lot. Yeah, it's a tough balance because in that same story, you'll remember that, you know, it, it, or, or, in, or in and around the same time, Jesus, in fact, uh, put the towel around his waist. He got on his knees and he washed Judas's feet on the night that Judas went to betray him. So that the, the fine line heart that, that, that I'm suggesting we should try and get with all this. I think Mark and avoid is the solution, uh, but we need to have that same kind of like Christ heart in the sense of like. Yeah, but uh, the scenario you've got back to front there, because what I'm trying to say is, yeah, the woman was a genuine cop. Jesus didn't need to convert to Christianity. Well, I'm just, talking about, yeah, I know, I know, but the, I know what you're on about that he but, accepted. I know he, he, accepted. he sought blessing, he gave a blessing to, yeah, the one who yeah, got and he did, help. and he does, yeah, and, and absolutely, gee, that's what he desires mercy and blessing. He does, yeah, but but th if people reject that mercy, reject that blessing, and they double down, there's oh, nothing yeah. you can do. Yeah, I think Mark and avoid is the best thing. So the exposure's done, and so good, good job, Sam. And uh, there, there can now be no doubt. There's, just, there's no doubt, and I will just, I will say just um, very briefly in this small part. They're probably still, Smokey's probably still here watching. So I will just say enough to say that I have, I know some details yeah. beyond. Uh, what has been spoken about and uh let's just say i i know definitively that uh that this happened and uh the person is this person uh so uh it is smoky saint that is to say yeah. so uh, now that that's done it's like well you know i think it's going to be business as usual and we can't be bothered by the business as usual so I'm saying so I'm participating in this little element of the drama during the 40 day fast. I got to what 30 30 days, 31. <laughs> um almost, you know, but I've done a little bit of drama. But I just thought I I just wanted to fellowship, say hi, and and uh thank well, you for the presentation. Sometimes but, it's important to break a fast. Oh, thank you, Rob. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Because I, I thought you did it, you did it thoroughly. It was it was uh, well done. I and uh I have confirmed the truth, and like I said, I have uh, I have some more details related to it. So uh, the expectation, I, I might reveal those things in the event, and, and I guess I'm throwing a bone to Smokey with this in some sense, and to Kenny, that, uh, I, and I think that it, it will be Smokey's attitude, I suspect, is that he's just going to treat treat this as if it never happened yeah of course it was a social and, and just continue on and unfortunately the uh the bokey kens of the world and uh the shayla somervilles and all that stuff will continue to do what they do in that community and there's nothing else that can be done other than no. yeah other than what you rightly say we can at least fathom that they have a seared conscience they're probably tears and mark and avoid these people that's absolutely right yeah. amen to that yeah you know, so I wanted to get that information out. I did. I did uh, private message Bill a little bit just to yeah. let him know that because uh, there's something we don't want to get too um, uh, focused on. You know, by making any assumptions, we can only rely on the things that we have. I would say that Sam, just about everything you said is true. There, there is some stuff that might be refined a little bit, um, but in in respect to the victim and uh because it's unnecessary at this point you did more than enough um we, we shouldn't draw conclusions about when it was when uh actual sex was achieved and things but what we know for sure is that grooming occurred and began at the 13 at the age of 13 with uh with Smokey being 21 years old and oh, that is that's that's right for uh chris hansen where's chris hansen where we need him 
You know, mm-hmm. the guy, the, he, oh, you don't know Chris Hansen? Chris Hansen is that guy who did uh, To Catch a Predator or whatever that was, where he, oh, they would bring in actresses who pretended to be young people and they would get groomed online by an older person. And then uh, it was a TV show that's all over the place. If you look oh, up, wait, wait, it wait. must be American thing. Yeah, if you if you uh, you would recognize him, uh, if you if you enter in Chris Hansen H A N S E N and to catch a predator, you'll see. I'm sure you've seen him before. He would he worked in conjunction with the police to catch pedophiles who were grooming minors online so that they could get them uh, and have sex with them in person. And so when when they would go to this location, believing they would be with a, a young person, 13, 14, 15 years old, they would be confronted by Chris Hansen himself. He'd sit down and ask him questions. And then when they go, can I leave now? They'd go outside and the police would arrest them. It's a pretty mm. satisfying show. Yeah, but- we had, we, we, see, it's not, America's different, you law over there, but there are what we call over here pedo hunters. Yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, the way the system is over here, uh, them and the police don't work together. And that causes a lot of problems because a lot of these pedo hunters have caught people out. But because the way the system's set here, uh, you know, they don't take that into account because it wasn't done officially by the police. They don't care, so they're still innocent, even though they're caught yeah. in the act. It's, it's very strange, the law over here. But yeah, we have the same sort of people. Well, we have put it this way we have people with that same moral compass when expose these dirty pedos, but it's unfortunately not uh, legit in this country, which is a shame. Yeah. Is a shame. yeah. Well, I mean, it's good here because it is. Sorry. Go ahead, Sam. Oh, I said I did want him, but he decided uh, to uh, double up. So <clears throat> I called him out. Called out his bluffing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we can actually say that with clear conscience now, can't we? Smokey, you're a pedophile, you're a nonce. <laughs> We're clear content. <laughs> yeah, as a well, your, as your, official, as no, your attorney. Official. In fact, I would say uh, you could comfortably state that he could still try yeah. and sue you, but you know the truth would set you free. Yeah, wait and try and sue me in England. <laughs> good, good luck with that. Yeah, let's just, <laughs> let's just say that. truth is an absolute defense to a claim of defamation. So as exactly. long as you're, but just be careful that there's some things, you know, like I said, the, the grooming occurred for about a year. So, and then, and then it's, then uh, the, 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 cr- the cross country trek occurred. Let's just yeah. say. But that. Even, even on a moral stance, even the groom at the age is repugnant. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? My son's 15. I'm like, sheesh, somebody groomed my kid online at 13. Right. If somebody groomed me, it would have been real easy to groom me. You know, I was like, <laughs> my hormones are raging at thirteen. Yeah. Well, no, one's allowed, no one, no one was allowed to groom my kids until after that sixteenth birthday. Then you can you can say, oh, yeah, um, boy, I yeah, I don't envy you for that. I certainly don't envy Sam. Who's right smack in the middle of it right now. I, I keep if I had two daughters, I'd keep them in a cage. I think for another twenty oh, years. Can you know, I heard I heard the good news. I think that you had said that your daughter got into UCLA. Can can you just do that online? Have her do UCLA online, graduate, and just keep her away from all those boys at UCLA. There's, a, there's even like uh, there's crazy even like, these days, especially yeah. mental and emotional abuse. Because, you know, could try and imagine yourself, you know, I know it's hard because we're not female, but imagine yourself as a 13, 14, 15 year old girl, hormones, fit, you know, really kicking in, and someone a lot older, you know, embellishes you with compliments. And oh, yeah, you. no, I know. Don't totally, I, I totally understand it. Yeah, There's no that, doubt. Yeah. That, I, I can't get in my brain how a full blooded male would want to do that and entice and abuse. I, I remember my 21st birthday. 
my 21st birthday, so this is what, how I envision when I think back to 21, this is a day I remember for sure. I went out and bought my own first six pack of beer with my fraternity brothers, okay? And the last thing that I had in my mind was, I'm gonna go uh, to the local middle school and see if I can find me a seventh grader. Uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. Uh, that, that, uh, a nice night with a with a 13 year old. No, that was the, the oh last God. thing that I was thinking of, and so that's that is a sickness, and uh, yeah. I feel so bad for the victim. It's, uh, but I, I'm glad that she, like I said, I'm glad she got justice, at least some form, because it would would have been very easy for the court to throw this under the rug because it had. Oh no! Hang on! No! 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 Prove a boot. Look at this panel of folks. Oh, there's a there's a convoy. Another oh. convoy. Come on in, man. And, yeah. and, and before we carry on, oh, I can no. legitimately say, pedo endorser. <laughs> a pedo endorser. As yeah. history, there's a, there's a the pedo voice. endorser, a convoy. Yeah. 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 How, you, how you doing, rebuke and reprove? Yeah. Pedophile. Well done. That that's that. This is the state of. Pretend Christianity. I want anyone who stumbles on this or listening to know that this is rebuke and reproof is pretend Christianity. Don't ever get that confused with genuine Christianity who will expose darkness given an opportunity. Yet these they people, are the of you, they endorse darkness. These people are sick. So you reprove and rebuke. Hey, 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 convoy man, why are you why are you bearing false uh, witness against us, saying that we are false accusers, you little convoy? Uh, by the way, I, I want to ask you a question, Rob. Um, now, what do you, what happens when he comes back to California and then doesn't register his address? Well, that would be interesting. I I, I think that uh, my hope would be that the victim would inform the court. And uh, hopefully they'll they'll follow up with that because if, if since he's on probation he has to report to someone uh, you know and he can't certainly pretend that he lives out of a hotel so that that would be my advice to the victim is that the, 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 there's some report that he he lives in uh, Southern California somewhere and and the probation officer certainly I, I would be very surprised if they didn't already know that of course they have to know that because he would have been. He would have received documents, presumably, at his where he lives, and would have reported already uh, his location. So that might be for his own protection. I don't know. I don't. I, that one I, is beyond my personal pay grade, you know, because I don't do. I, obviously, I don't do criminal law in that particular state either. I don't do criminal law at all, so I don't know. My advice to rebuke and reprove would be to rebuke and reprove yourself. Uh, perhaps you might <laughs> want to look into things first, because uh, as I can say definitively, Jill, you have the discernment of a nonce. Yeah, he literally has. I can't believe it. But Well, like I said, it's official now. I've said it for a long time that that, that, that Jill and Pitt were like a pedo endorses. Now, is that the boy is so inane that he's actually supporting a pedo and calling us evil. Yeah. So there you go. No false accusings. No, the facts are out. He's officially a convicted pedophile, three years probation, 10 years minimum on a sex offenders register. You have endorsed, and you're ever going to be known as that now. Sorry, my forgiveness ain't as big as Christ, but you are now forever known as a pedo supporter. So well done. Give yourself a clap, you silly, silly boy. Maybe we can get Jill to come in here and he can talk about no, how... He's, I mean, no. he's, he's too powerly, man. Yeah. Come on booking, in. Uh, come booking, on in, convoy. The new booking photo is not him. It's not... It's not... <laughs> It's not Josh. Smokey is not Joshua Herbell. Come on, oh, in, uh, Con. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you Come on, Jill. Jews? Jill, I know you're a courageous alpha male. Yeah, he's so <laughs> courageous. He defends pedophiles. That's that, that's that's not Christian and courageous. <laughs> I actually think Christian and courageous is defending the victim. 
Yeah, there, there it is. <laughs> Pause it right there. there. There you go. Convoy. So where's the counter, Convoy? By the way, Convoy is, uh, is uh, a.k.a. Jill, a.k.a. Rebuke and Reprove. He cannot even rebuke and reprove himself. Convoy. Well, this is put a comment on there. At least it's now there. It's official. He supports, like I said, what did I say 20 minutes ago? I said his supporters will double down, being under a delusion, and at the hill they would defend the victimizer, the <laughs> wicked perpetrator. That's not smoky. That's not smoky, says Joe. Hey, convoy, so present it. Present that. That's not Josh, man. Are you, uh, are you dumb? Oh, yeah, you are dumb. Or, or, or <laughs> embarrassed. This is embarrassed. Well, how, come, how come convoys are so dumb? It's incredible. Can, Sam, man. is it okay for me to have a little bit of compassion for Jill and his idiocy? Can I at least, can we nah, agree on that? Just a little. <laughs> I feel sorry for Jill. Wow. <laughs> Convoy. Come on, man. Oh, what do you mean, Wuhan? There's nothing to do with Wuhan. No, do, you know, oh, do you know why I don't have. Uh, Compassion and sympathy for Jill. Man, this guy is not creative whatsoever, even with his insults. Yeah. Same thing, man. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, the reason I don't have compassion on Jill is because when, when obviously my daughter passed away, and I went and I spoke to praise and stand for truth, and I, and I was upset and grieved. Jill was the first person to say. Shut up, you screaming banshee. Get over it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was his compassion about my, my daughter's person. So he's not a Christian. I know he's not a Christian. Well, I think Jill, I, I know Jill is a fan of Jesus. That's a good start. You're a, you're a fan of Jesus. What, like, what kind of like Jesus? I'm a, fan, I'm a fan of the Dodgers. You know, but th that, that doesn't get me any salvation, Jill. Yeah, but again, he's going to double down, like you say. He's going to double down and, and, and don't matter. You know, literally, if Smokey himself came out and said, I am Satan incarnate and I did these wicked deeds, <laughs> you know, Jill would say he was just playing. He was playing. He's a victim. This is how dense. I, I, I don't sure no, whether he's got brain I, damage or not. You know, I, I think Smokey, he... he uh... He hails Satan every night, thanking Satan for, for all the nonce dunces who follow him and go to his channel, who are so, uh, they're lacking in IQ, moral fortitude, discernment, uh, certainly intelligence. Yeah, so good luck to you, Jill. That's the best I got for you, sir. Good luck to you. Why don't you ask Smokey himself, and then you can report it. You can report your findings. I wish he'd come in. It would be more well, fun. I, I, no, I seriously think that, you know, Convoy suffers from, like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what his IQ is. He's not intelligent. And that's one of the reasons why he gets even fooled by some atheists. You know, the things that he talk about is so ridiculous. And, no, he doesn't have cognitive sense, no critical thinking, I mean, this is the kind of thing that I've witnessed a lot, you know, just because they claim that they're Christians, therefore they think that they can clap and crap out whatever they want. Hey, Jill, prove to us that he's not Josh. Okay. Uh, he's not. No, no he's saying, smoky. he's saying Will Kincaid, his brother and demon, um, <laughs> says it's not smoky. So then that's, that's definitive proof. If Will Kincaid says it, then oh, we know for sure it's truth, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, I just need to say again, we was right. These people will double down. Trust me. I just, <laughs> I just know. I just know, mankind. Daniel said something funny. Today's April Fool's Day. Yeah. Thank you, Jill. Thank you for coming in on April Fool's Day to. To help wind us up here. Yeah, well, you're a pedo supporter anyway, Rebut and Bruce. So it doesn't matter forever. Yeah, yeah that's that's a, that, that's the bottom line, isn't it? Pedo yeah, supporter. Pedo supporter. Pedo supporter. Pedo supporter. That's what you are, Rebut and Reprove. You're the same ilk as those who defended Matt Bell. You're the same ilk. So 
I don't care what you are, who you are, where you go, you're forever known to me how long? the pedo supporter, and that's as simple as that. How long how long has this idiot been on YouTube anyway? Because like first time that I saw him was like on Ryan's channel. Double down. And then I don't even know this idiot. And then he would address me as some thicky and all kind of name calling. And I don't even know you. What did I even done to you? And you know, he, he wasn't able to say anything. But obviously, you know, this kid has no clue whom he's dealing with. <laughs> it's a, it's okay, Joe. I would I, I some free legal advice for you, Jill. Uh, leave, because the, the longer you stay and make comments, the more you look like an idiot. Trust me, Jill. Uh, do not do not block or delete uh, Conboy's uh, video uh, comments, please. Conboy, come on in, man. Where, I tend to uh, I tend your... to think that stuff like this, like that's why I wonder if if Jill is also demonically led. And one of the things of that, they, that well, yeah, one of the things that he wants to find out, they want to find out everything that is known. And I know some stuff that Sam doesn't know. So well, um, yeah, he said, he said, he, like I said, I've said this. What did frustrate me at the beginning? I know he's come out from that. Out of all the people that used to kind of hang around. And, and chat with uh, Nutty Smokey. The only one that used to do that that I, I, I consider, even though I doctrinally disagree a little bit, is Veckel. So out of that whole ilk, all that went on there, Veckel was probably the only one that is a, an actual Christian. Though I disagree with him, I can't deny the fact that he's, you know, that he's a born again Christian. He's you know that I believe he'd probably say I am, but he's a Christian. But as for Jill and all the others, there's no way that they are they are, what they are is they're inclined to Christianity because they're kind of right wing conservatives and, and, and they say, right, there's a Christian stance, you're anti this, anti that, blah blah blah. So I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. No, being being conservative don't make you a Christian. What makes you a Christian is being born again, is trusting wholeheartedly in Christ and what he done, his death, burial, and resurrection for you personally. Then you pass from death unto life, then you receive new birth. That what makes you a Christian? Not being conservative, not agreeing with some of the things that Jesus said, or attacking libtards. That don't make you a Christian, because there's even libtards that are Christian. It robs one of no them. Way. <laughs> no way. No <laughs> way. So, so don't bring the, the political game and think the emphasis on politics and right and left wing. I, to be honest, Jesus didn't give, I personally think, a, a, a hoot about left wing or right wing. What Jesus was interested in is you passing from death unto life, is I you want, being saved. Yeah. I want personally. to go into the next smoking hangout and you, you address it and say, hey, those guys are lying about you again. Do you have anything to comment on that, Smokey? See what he says. I want you to get him on record. That would be fun. And then you'll find out. Then you'll find out more. Once I can, once we can develop a, and you can help me, Jill. Once we develop him, and Jill, the corner, Jill doesn't. That Jill doesn't. Here's the thing, Rob. Jill has a very low IQ. Like for example, <laughs> he was presented with an, let's say, a phone number. Okay. A yeah. phone number that Josh provided to praise, phone number that he provided to for his job, real estate. Mm -hmm. That phone number, he said, that was registered under his family. Yeah. Okay, but turned out that he was it was AT and T that it was registered under his own name, Josh Arbell. Now, I, he, it was presented to him, but he he doesn't get it. Well, he doesn't get it. In fairness to Jill, you know, because me as the uh, the California libtard attorney, even I, I told you, I said, be careful, you know, because there's a possibility the whole story isn't known. And so, and I've come out here, Jill, and let's just say, Jill, that I I was in your position of trying to give the benefit of the doubt. And let's just say, Jill, based on the information that I know, but you know that I'm a libtard, so therefore I'm a liar, right, Jill? Well, what the information I know now it is definitive, dispositive, 100% that 
that everything that your pal Smokey has denied is in fact true and Smokey when he denied that he's this person has lied period <laughs> So Jill, Jill's um, AKA convoy says that the phone number was already explained. I mean, cool. What was explained? How is that even explained? I told it was you already. His cousin's he, third cousin's friend, friend's so, mom. Cousin's that's what, that's what he said. However, everything. Yeah. However, that phone number was registered under Josh Herbell. You numb nut. <laughs> There's only one Josh Herbell. Well, yeah. Okay. I pointed the obvious out, Sam. I said, "Here's two actual facts: Smoke is a pedo, and Jill is not a Christian." Nothing. Yeah, and well, you know, pedo supporter. Smokey and Kenny went on a road trip to go see the Ark in Kentucky. That's what they did. They wanted they wanted so badly to go see that Ark in Kentucky that they went on a road trip together. I'm just concerned, like. You know, they couldn't take a plane flight. Maybe they wanted to get to know each other better. Yeah, stay in a sure. two-star hotel. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I thought that he, <laughs> I thought that uh, that the guy was wealthy because he doesn't have to work. He's on YouTube. So, so what happens? Uh, another question that I want to ask you, Rob. Sure. Okay, so the the bond the bond is set. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And it was about two hundred fifty thousand. Uh huh. Right. So what happens? Like he um, didn't. It, it becomes irrelevant. He doesn't have to post anything because you know it's kind of it's the same as bail. He didn't have to post anything because they came to a conclusion on the I case. See. So there's so, no need for trials. So therefore, yeah, it's right. done. Yeah, everything is everything is resolved and uh, and it 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 received the approval of of all involved. And so. Um, and that's why, you know, once you don't get on the uh, uh, the Megan's Law, is it still affiliated with Megan's Law? You don't get on the sex offender list unless there's a formal conviction. Right, and right. So, and so we got, it's formally convicted, and he, and he didn't get any jail time, so it is what it is. And I, I, the only thing I don't know is whether he has to stay in the jurisdiction or not. And I suspect that he doesn't, but I honestly, I don't know. I don't know what the rules in North Carolina are. Mm -hmm. right. We'll find out. We'll see. You know, if if, if one day uh, Kenny at a year from now goes, oh, I'm going to go take another trip to the Ark, then maybe we know that uh, Smokey decided to stay in North Carolina because maybe he was obligated to. I, I don't know. The thing was the, the initial offense, and I think that's the thing that he actually ended up being formally charged with. Uh, and I can't I can't say this definitively, but the initial offense was not actual statutory rape it was essentially what amounts to grooming because it was done online nope far away so oh go ahead Satori. uh the initial charges were three counts of statutory rape and four counts of indecent liberties with the child yeah well i i mean i mean to say where where it started which was like the very first thing that started it all off was essentially grooming online over the internet right that is correct but those yeah. were the charges yeah yeah no I, I know that he was charged with those things but in the end i don't know if he was just convicted of the uh what was it sam again indecent liberties or something he was convicted right. of um, statutory of right. child yeah which encompasses just about all that and I, the bottom line is i'm gl i'm glad that uh that there was a conviction because it's now we got to deal with uh, like idiots like uh convoy. <laughs> nah, he's 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 all right, he's gonna wallow in his own little mess and and we'll just feel sorry for old, feel sorry for old Jill. Well, I'm not sorry for, for him at all. I mean, Smokey I, went to Kentucky. Is that our evidence? That's what Jill's. Well, no, it, let's just say that's <laughs> kind of circum, circumstantial. Let's say that's very circumstantial. <laughs> But what if what if what if this? Uh, I'm not even going to say. I don't even want to say. You know, you go get get Smokey on the record. I think Smokey's just going to refuse to talk about it, Jill, because I've said enough, and he knows that uh, we we have enough information on it that he doesn't want to embarrass himself further. But if you want to embarrass yourself further, Jill, you can feel free. 
Well, he's being he's 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 being embarrassed by himself by a lot of atheists so far. I don't know when did you when did you even come on YouTube, Jill, uh, aka uh, Con Boy? I mean, what's what is your even education? Do you have any intellect <laughs> whatsoever? Do you have any kind of critical thinking, cognitiveness? I I, I can tell I you. I just that. don't understand. I, and and look, I said this. I, I'm saying this almost as an embarrassment because if I was American, I would have supported Trump. But his intellect, his own own brain matter, just says Trump 2020. Liberals, devils, pedos, good. I want more people. <laughs> I want more people speaking out like Jill supporting Trump. That's what I want. So, a hey, rebuke and rebuke. <laughs> keep, keep doing it, please, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Trump vote. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> You're making me feel better about my libtardedness. Convoy says he's he's already spoke about it. It's nothing, Burger. I need evidence. I'm a Christian. Oh, clearly. First, first of all, first of all, Convoy, no Christian uh, without discernment. <laughs> okay, you ain't no Christian. Otherwise, you're gonna have to tell us that you know how you came to Christ. Secondly, the evidence has been provided more than enough, even though even the judge agreed. All right, and thirdly. If he, if you mean by you know, Josh, he being Josh, no man, Josh is not the truth. Okay, so here's the thing, um, convoy, provide us <laughs> any yeah. kind of counter that would counter the evidence that has actually been proven. For example, the phone number that uh, Josh provided, mm. he said that that's not uh, his, but rather his cousin's. Right, the same phone number that was provided to for his job and for the debate, the same phone number was registered under the name Josh Orbell. Okay, that's the thing. Now, the second question is, oh yeah, why did he even lie? First thing. Secondly, why is it even registered under his name? And if he's not Josh Orbell, then why did they even provide that number? That's the thing. When he has no cousin named Joshua, I mean, do you, can you not think? <laughs> and now we have established that Smokey is Josh Bell. Okay, we have established that. We do search, and guess what? That's the only name that has tied with someone who actually committed such atrocious act. And guess what? There were had there had been the victim, the witnesses actually testifying that is him. So what is your counter? Oh boy. <laughs> Here's the thing, Josh. There's no family name called Joshua but himself. It's not a family member. You don't go to North Carolina with Kenny boy for a family member. There is no family member, unless he's a doppelganger, the same age, the same weight, and uh, same height, same birthday. All right, con boy, come on, man. Case closed. <laughs> Actually, it's literally case closed. Mark and avoid, rebuke and reprove. Mark and avoid. Yeah, yeah, mark and avoid definitely. I've been marking and avoiding him for a long time, yeah, but you know, finally we are actually actually exposing this uh, this evil, atrocious lie crap. Yeah, you're so you're so assuming that I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, Joe. Assuming that you're just naive. That is what you are. I, I, that's the best that I could say for you is that you are so naive under the guise of a guy who thinks he's an alpha male being uh, you are just being abused mentally. It's so sad to watch Like you think you're such an alpha male and some some guy, some convicted pedophile now is manipulating you. And it, it's kind of sad unless you're doing this on purpose, which is possibility, too. I don't know. Maybe you're in the same club 
maybe you're actively doing the same thing, Jill. I don't know. Are you Are you online trying to uh, groom anybody? <laughs> yeah, Jill. Hope not, Jill. So here's the thing, Conboy. Where is the counter? There are many, many evidence has been um, presented. So where is your counter? That that is as simple as that. I, I really need to know. Okay. He's staying in comfort in. Okay. He's staying in comfort in right now in North Carolina. And also the reason why he's there is he was he to plead guilty. To plead guilty. Jill and, is a teacher? Is Jill a teacher? Uh, I don't think so. How oh can be gosh, a teacher? Please tell me no. Okay, so that. what kind of evidence do you need? Uh, uh, Convoy, what kind of evidence do you need? No, you're not a Christian, by the way. What kind of evidence do you need? Tell me. Because the as evidence has been proven. I mean, uh, uh, presented all, uh, already. He's not a Christian. He's just a conservative with Christian values. That's all he is. Right. I, yeah, that's how I would say that. A fan of Jesus. Uh, wow. We already confirmed Jill, that. Jill is a teacher. That is insane. Uh, we already confirmed that um, uh, uh, Smokey is Josh Harbell. Because uh, Josh actually provided that number and lied about it. And that was a register under his name. I'm not talking about your stupid name, Jill. Do you I'm talking think, about Josh Bell name that is always, you know, only there's only one name. Maybe your name is like as common as Rob's. Here's However, good, we're talking about Josh Bell. Here's I, I won't be here too much longer. And I'm spend, spending too much time in the drama. But here, this is a question legit for Jill that I think that asked him if he was here. Is do you believe, do you do you on are you of the belief, honestly, that the the reason for the road trip of Smokey and Kenny traveling to the east was to go to the hearing for Smokey's family member. Is is that are you on the record as believing that? So you you think they were Kenny and Smokey went there for Smokey's uh third cousin Joshua to support him. Is is that what you're on record for, teacher? Super Christian uh, and quotes Jill. I wish he was in here. I wouldn't have to wait. He might have left. Well, no, I mean, look, he will not come. I know he's a chicken crap. <laughs> yeah, I I agree with you. No, this is not a drama. You're, so all right, you're good. So well, then they're fine, okay. and I'm not stumbling. <laughs> right. It is this exposure. Is, it's important. Right. Well, yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. It's not. A drama fest, you know, and obviously everyone likes a better drama, but no, but this is serious point to facts, exposing the darkness of a, a registered paedophile and exposing the paedophile supporters. That as I as I and I'm no prophet, as you know, I literally prophesied an hour ago they were they would defend smoke each other ilk and, and jill is a perfect case study of that fact there's obviously going to be more you're going to have basement defending him guru lady erica news unit all the others i believe these are hardcore unsaved people who think christianity is conservative right wing not realizing that christianity is a relationship with a living god well, let's just say, as it relates to Jill, if I if I had a question that required Christian discernment, Jill would be among the very last who I would consult. Let's just <laughs> put it that way. So, uh, thank you, Jill, for at least exposing yourself. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for uh, helping in that regard. I guess so. Well, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. God is good, even when we think things are calamitous and disastrous. God is manifesting his truth and light. So, yes, although Jill says harsh things to us all and most wicked things, well, God is good in that because he's letting us know right here and now who's wheat and who is tear. God is good. 
Amen to that. Yeah. All right. So I think that it's uh, wise to uh, close off the live portion and just kind of like chat a little bit in private. What do you think, guys? Sounds good. Yeah, me. yeah. It's, it's just it's not a false accusation, rebuke, and reprove. That's all I got to tell you. It's not false. It's and when, you, when and if you find out, then I hope that you'll come and apologize. How's that? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm hopeful. What? Yeah. Hey, hey, Conboy, why do you false accuse? Why you do that? You are the one who uh, who's actually been falsely accusing, saying that we are uh, accusing falsely. Man, well, I, do you do you have any IQ? <laughs> uh, you you know, that's embarrassing. We actually produce receipts and evidence, and he rejects it. Yet, if Smokey says you're a scat porn, I'm a demon. Rob's a libtard Satanist. He believed that. He swallowed the well, lies. I've, I've been in love. I am in love. I love my wife. You've been in love. I know you you you, you love. And Sam, you got a girlfriend now. You know what love is. So I see it and rebuke and reprove. He is, you know how you get lost in your love sometimes? Yeah. Jill, he loves Smokey so much that he's lost. <laughs> he can't yeah. he loves what? him. Come on he in. Hey, 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 convoy. Come on in. All right, yeah, okay. let's give him some. Uh, but see, this is I'll, I'll give you. I gave you five minutes. Come on in, man. I wouldn't even give him that. No, 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 stuff him. Give him one minute. If he ain't here, we're going private. His stuff lover, him. Smokey, wants to watch this. I think they're probably chatting because Smokey had a chat set for five o'clock and then he, he extended it to 5 30 so he could keep watching. So, welcome, yeah. Smokey. Glad I mean, like, you're what watching. kind of what kind of like so called quote unquote? See, like, see, like, this is what I'm saying. This like this. This, I mean, this is, he, is he here for peace or is he to rile people up or so, what is this? This is why even atheists think that he's not even a Christian. Yeah, but look, look at the, you know what he said is is wicked, but he puts a smiley face at the end. This is mockery. See, this what look the no, smiley obviously. face. Why is that funny? Why is that funny? He's not a. He's not. Yeah, I, I highly doubt that the Holy Spirit resides in your rebuke and reprove. You you love the power that that the Holy Spirit gives, but you you the only power that you have in assert rebuke and reprove, Jill, is the power that's associated with calling yourself a Christian. But you don't have any power. You and your group don't have that power. Your imprecatory prayers have fallen to crap. They're nothing. Right? I'm going to be quiet for a minute. I'm going to because I'm, I'm getting really angry. Yeah, I'm I know. That's why I'm speaking man. for you. So just forget about Come it. Come on, convoy. This is why you're a convoy. Right? You know what con means, right? Hey, let me ask you a question, guys. What do you think con means? Uh, he, well, con, I, I uh, it's somebody who, uh, is a shill. He wants to uh, cheat people out for his own benefit. Okay. Convoy. Come on in, man. You need 10 minutes? Okay, I'll give you 10 minutes. Come on in. I think he's saying wait 10 minutes so that he'll just make us sit. I'm not waiting for him. So since you gave him a minute already, because he, he wants to see his lover's chat. So why don't we open it up so that he can vis have some, some solid quality time with his lover Smokey in 10 minutes, because that's when Smokey's chat's supposed to start. So we can allow all of the Smokey sycophants to go in there and, and hopefully Smokey will review this chat. And I, well, you know, I mean, if he actually going to have some idiotic hangout, you know, I'm sure uh, his supervisor will be informed. Hmm. Uh, hopefully, yeah. hopefully he'll make a, a. I don't know what that means, but hopefully he'll make a wise decision and ignore it and tell well, you. I'm sure that his supervisors will watch YouTube also. I'm sure that he's actually given with his channel also. Yeah, you're gonna have to like uh, tread in a very, very thin ice, Josh. I, I rebuke you, Jill, and the, that demonic spirit that inhabits you. And I tell that spirit that he's full of crap and he's nothing. And that the power of Jesus uh, allows us who have the peace in Jesus Christ to, to get past your bullshit. You're, you're a, with, with your comment, Jill, and your continuing comments, 
and I generally don't like to attack people like this, but you reveal yourself as a fraud. So, yeah. um, you know, uh, best for you to, I hear somebody talking, but it's really low. Are you talking boot? Sorry. Hey, Bob, is that you? Bob, you have an audio problem? I don't Say something. Hello? Oh, you have a very... Me, you have uh, a very low uh, volume, it seems. Can you hear me now? Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay, good. There you good. go. Right, sorry about that. I just wanted to clarify that that is a .gov website, uh, Sam, isn't it? What website? It's a .gov website, that, isn't it? That oh, yeah, got... that's a government website, yeah. Yeah, yeah. God, God hears yeah. my prayers, rebuke and reprove. Get behind me, Satan. Get behind me, kid. Oh, I wish that American had sure up. Yeah, poor, poor Jill. Jill, you have no power over me, young man. <laughs> Your spirit is evil, and I pray that you obtain repentance, that the spirit will fill you, that you will be blessed by that, and that you will see what an idiot and jerk you are being right now. That's what I want. I want for the Holy Spirit to put a mirror. And you know when it will happen, Jill? If you decide... To open your eyes and see that what we're saying is true. If you decide, it's right and just smoky. That's what the problem is. Yeah, it's clear because it's been five minutes. So he has no intention. He just wants to delay. So we're not waiting for him anymore. So I would say, Sam, no, 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 I, I, I can't wait. Uh, well, no he, problem. Yeah. Oh, no I can, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. So I guess I can listen. But I would rather be here to confront him. Mm -hmm. I would rather he, because since Smokey's watching, it'd be cool if Smokey popped in, and then I, we could uh, see what he has to say on the subject. But I think he's he's wise because how he, does he know God doesn't hear your prayers? What is he? Is he God? Is he? Uh, what, well, he, what, he, what, he thinks what, I'm a social justice warrior. Actually, I'm the opposite, but that's okay. <laughs> I thought you were. I'm I'm I side more leftist, but I'm I'm moderate. But I'm not. Uh, you know, he already knows this. I'm, in fact, I'm not registered Democrat anymore because I'm so sick of the progressive side. But I certainly wouldn't register Republican because I'm so sick of that alt right. No offense to my friends who voted for Trump. That's fine, but I'm not a fan, and so I can't go that route. And and my wife and I we canceled out each other because she's a Republican conservative and uh she she became an independent along with me so we're both fed up with both extremes on the on the right and the left but well, we uh, have actually figured that the the a victim you know quite a uh, years ago she's not a victim anymore but a winner and yeah. i could actually confirm that she is actually you know However, right now, who the real victims are are actually guys like Conboy, a.k.a. Jill. The Does real victim... Yeah, the real victim right now, being fooled by Josh and his lies, swallowing up his lies, the real, real victims are like uh, Conboy, like Todd, uh, uh, News Unit, the, uh, the Crawler, you know, all these guys are actually the victims. They're, they've been groomed. They've been suitably groomed in the same way that, that Smokey can't do wrong. In fact, you realize, Jill, you're supporting a guy who just continues to remain anonymous, and that doesn't reveal anything to you. I mean, to me, it's hilarious. It's, it's so, uh, you know, the circumstantial evidence is so thick, but I've already told you that I, I have, or I've already mentioned, I think you were here, that I have more than just circumstantial evidence. Oh, there's Jill. So, let's see your uh, evidence. Why you falsely accuse? Why do you falsely accuse, Jill? I'm popping out for a minute because I don't want to be with this anathema. God bless. I'll be back shortly. See you later. I'm right. only going to be here for a few more minutes because I'm scared. So, why do you falsely accuse? Why do you falsely Convoy? accuse? So what's why do you falsely you accuse? Jill? All right, Jill, I'm glad you're here, right. Jill. Jill, I got a question for you. Oh, yeah. Cool. Do you think that the the uh, Smoky Kenny road trip was so they could go see the Ark? I have no idea. What 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 idea you might have? Any idea I, whatsoever? I, I I don't assume. I'm a Christian. Right, well, the, the Josh Herbal Marks. I'll ask uh, him. The Josh Herbal Marks 
hearing was uh, the 30th, March 30th, right. in North Carolina. Right. Do, you, do you know how, how in Mecklenburg, North Carolina, do you know how far Mecklenburg, North Carolina is to the location where the at, the Ark is? The Ark of which, what to about the um, Noah's Ark? Yeah, the one in Kentucky. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wanted to go see that. Yeah, do That's, you know how far uh, that is? Right? Do you know how far that is from Mecklenburg? I I don't know why that's relevant, but no. Well, it's it's sort of in the path of the road trip. That's why. Wouldn't you say that's somewhat relevant, or do you think that's too circumstantial? I think Mecklenburg is Charlotte, isn't it? Well, it's it's the county. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's Charlotte, Charlotte's the Charlotte. city. Mecklenburg's the county. Oh my God! Yeah, Mecklenburg is a county in Charlotte, North Carolina. So, so rebuke again. Again, I want Jill. I want to you to, to provide us with your great intellect. So, <laughs> since since Josh Herbal Marx is a relative of him, at least you'll confess to that. Is that correct? Um, from what I'm told, yeah. Okay, so he's a relative. So, so it, it might stand to reason, being as that the uh, the end time for this road trip with Kenny and uh, Smoky Saint happened to end at the same time as this hearing date. So, because now we know Kenny's on his way back, according to Kenny's site, he's gone, he's on his way back to at least stopping at Louisiana to kick Ryan the Presbyterian's ass, right? That's what the pastor oh, said, right? You, you've seen that, That's Jill, true. probably? Probably laughed. That's your that, evidence. Right? Well, no, I'm, we're, uh, we're still going. I'm still asking you questions. So, you, okay. you, you know that you know that Pastor Kenny's on his way back now, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, so, the, so the, trip, the trip went to the East Coast mm -hmm. about a few hours away from... Uh, Mecklenburg, North Carolina, the court where this hearing was happened. So would you say that it is a it is a real tough claim for me to make that at the very least, Pastor Kenny and Smokey Saint were going to support uh, Smokey Saint's family member at the courthouse? I can't assume I'm a Christian. You don't if assume said, anything? If he says that, then yeah. If he you, don't assume, him, yeah. you don't assume anything? So, so where's the evidence? Is it just circumstantial? You never assume anything. No, not when it comes to false accusations. No. All right. Well, accusations. Well, yeah. Are you making the assumption that Smokey Saint is not Josh Herbal Marks, or have you made a, a definitive uh, proof? Yeah, until I until I see evidence of the of that the charge. Sounds to me. Yeah. Sounds to me, sir, like you made the assumption that that Smokey Saint is telling uh, the truth. No, you're innocent until proven guilty. You need the burden of proof is on you. I got it. So, I mean, you make, so you're innocent until proven guilty. Means yeah, this is the United do, States, not Wuhan. You, you do make an assumption, then. You do make assumptions. No, the law says that we are not to assume guilt until proven guilty. No, but we assume innocence. We, we're forced we, to assume until, innocence. Right, until proven guilty. So, so you have made the assumption that the, the, uh, the random, uh, anonymous character we know as Smokey Saint is not Josh Herbell because he said so, right? Right. So you have you do make assumptions. No. You just did. You just admitted to making the assumption. No, I'm yeah. going off of what he is oh, saying. You right. assume assuming that he's assuming that he's so it's your though. word against his word. So right. you need to provide so you, evidence. Yeah. And you're making an assumption you're making an assumption that I'm lying, right? Because you haven't provided evidence. What's your proof that but, I'm lying? You're assuming I, there's no evidence. I'm not suggesting anyone is lying. Oh, I you're think you did. You're, what are you talking you're about? You're yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, you Where's your that? evidence, yeah. sir? Uh, well, since no, what, when, since when I, social I, justice warrior does the prosecutor have to provide or, or put pressure I, I on I the accused to provide evidence of innocence? I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying that. Uh, list fact, a social justice lawyer. Is this how you run your court? No, I'm, how you saying, run your cases? I'm saying that I just caught okay. you into a lie. You said you don't make assumptions, and I just caught you in three. Uh, that's not a lie, sir. We don't assume innocent. The law doesn't did assume you, did you call unless me, you have evidence. Did you call us a liar in the chat? Did you call us uh, false accusers? Yes, false it's false called accusers. slander. Yes, it's called slander. If you do you not assume. have evidence. Is that, is that you not assume. an assumption? Uh, so, you, so you don't have evidence. So I'm wasting my time why, here? Why am I I'm not wasting my time. No why? evidence? None. Well, okay. you, you, I'll see you guys next time. I see you. Bye bye. Oh, you're going to run? run? Yeah. Where's your evidence? You just wasted 10 minutes.
I've got plenty of evidence, man. Where's a trip to Kentucky. Hey, why do you pull out my How about this, Jill? How about this, Jill? We'll see, Jill. We'll see, Jill. We'll see, Jill. We'll see, Jill. I'll wait. I'll wait. How about, how about if I'm in possession of photographs of uh, one person uh, who looks like the booking photo uh -huh. in, in, the Charlotte, in the Charlotte courthouse uh -huh. with Kenny Rhodes? With Kenny Rhodes. Okay. Yeah. You you have evidence. You have on, that photo? on on March thirtieth. <laughs> what would you say with that? Yeah. Would that be enough? I, I would say that, that, that a Photoshop. I would say that you would need to demonstrate that. I would go to court. I would take you to court too. How do you know he's not taking you to court for falsely accusing and slandering? Because he'd be in so now you have to that? demonstrate that the court case has to do with oh, what okay. you're accusing. All right, yeah. so you think that he was there for another reason other than Joshua I'm, Mark? I'm sure. I'm sure he is in, taking in you guys. I'm sure he is seeking litigation against you and Mr. Thick Shades here for slander. So I don't so a court, a picture of him in court wouldn't work. It's laughable. In North Carolina court? I don't I don't know. Maybe that's where one of you live. About, Maybe that's where about, he is taking about, litigation. How about walking out of the courtroom at the time that this hearing was set? Walking out of the courtroom. Yeah, we, we have a date I'm, and time. Sam showed. I'm, I'm sorry Sam that showed, someone in court. Sam Sam you showed haven't... Sam showed the court docket in North Carolina at 9:30 a.m. in uh -huh. room 5310 at the Mecklenburg, North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina court. That explains a lot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, that, that's so evidence. It, so you think you think that's... that it's a better assumption for you to make that, that when Kenny was walking out with this person in the booking photo. Who is Joshua Herbal March? You think that with Kenny walking out right next to that guy, that that was merely a smoky saint filing a lawsuit against me for defamation? Could that, be. That's, that's the assumption that you've made. Um, could be. All right. I'm um, so, and, I'm so and sorry. You teach how many children do you teach and what grades? So? Um, and and. Mind you, you haven't provided these you pictures. Teach? Mind please you, you me, haven't provided please, these pictures. That's please, none of your please, business. Please tell me preschool, sir. Mind you, you haven't provided any of these evidence. Jill, you sound like you'd be very good with okay. blocks. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. You haven't Are you provided good with blocks? that anyway. You sound like somebody would be really so good. Matching. I'm not going to take your A word for it because you're liberal. You sound like... Ideal. You sound you like take common core. You sound like somebody would be very I don't. good at taking a circular block and putting <laughs> it in a circle, circle little hole. Uh, I think you'd be good uh, with that. How yeah. are you with finger painting, Jill? How are you with uh, false accusations and slander? I don't make. I would it. take you to court. Where would you false accusations, Jill? Probably make Con a decent boy. salary. Stop making false accusations, all right, Con boy. Hey, Jill. Jill, do, do you know? Do, you do know that I'm an attorney, right? You know what I do for? Yeah, a yeah, I, yeah. You probably make you, a decent salary. I would take you oh, to court too. That, that has nothing. Oh, that's okay. another false accusation, that. Con boy. Stop that, okay? Stop uh, that. Uh, you would take Are you falsely accused? Do you know? Not Jill? falsely accusing, Con boy. <laughs> Jill, do you know what the defense is? What would you assume? Why are you falsely accused? Do you know what the defense is? Hey, Jill, do you know what the defense is for the defamation? Jill, come on. Yeah, so is this Jill, all you guys have? Yeah, that's, that's all, right. all I got, Jill. All right. I've, Jill. Said, I've said right. more that's than I, I wanted figured. to say. I said that's more what I than I wanted to say. That's what, just I say, what about you, Thicky? What evidence do you have, Thicky? Why don't you talk to Pastor Kenny? It's provided that you should talk. Oh, you little low IQ man, thick shades, all right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. What what evidence do you have, Thicky? Give thick us a go. Shades. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What evidence do you have? Thick shades. You know, uh, can you say thick shades? The, the picture that looks nothing have, like, like Smokey, is, it, is that your evidence? It looks, it looks nothing like Smokey. So right. <laughs> It's not him. No, I mean, it's, it's not him. I mean, right. even if like, so, you guys, oh, you guys dug up dirt on some some, some guy, random guy, some, some random, random guy. guy you found on the internet. That's right, that's and right. that's supposed to be convince people. Can I say I thought, something? I thought he was One a time. I thought he was a relative. Hey, Daniel, how's it going? Hey, buddy. Um, <laughs> uh, there was a guy tried to steal my brother's truck, and. Um, he was heavy and lost a lot of weight. By court time, he lost a lot of weight. And the man that was the eyewitness uh, uh, couldn't, you know, uh, say that it was him because he 
you know, lost so much weight. So that does happen, and that appears that might be what he tried to do. Well, maybe. But if you I, have uh, DNA and stuff like that, it's all whatever. I do think we should have a funeral for that beautiful beard. Because I would say there is no doubt that now that, that uh, Josh Herbal Mark is on the sex offender list, that uh, he will shave that beautiful beard. And I think it's so unfortunate because that was a great beard. Jill, you've seen that beard, right? Can we at least agree on something? You, you know, the libtard and the quote unquote true Christian, Jill. Can we they agree that that, that 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 Josh Herbal Marx oh. has one beautiful beard in his booking that's photo? It. Can you show it for us? A beard. Can no. we agree? Look at that beard. Tell me, Jill, that you think a that's beard. a great beard. Yeah, what do you think about yeah, that? That's, that's evidence. Okay. No, um, I'm not looking for evidence. I'm looking for common ground here. All Jill. right. Well, I am. Can I'll we wait. Can, can we can we at least agree that this is one beautiful beard? Ah, uh, yeah, that's Marx. He's uh, obviously. of his gospel. That's all scriptura right there. Doing so. This is it. A picture of us, a man that we've never seen before. Other than on oh, oh, we've, seen, we've seen him before. This is the same guy that's in that mugshot that you said isn't him. That's a little heavier from 2017. The same guy, right? Got nah, some funny nah. voice, though. You don't agree with that? Well, I did see a picture of Smokey once, and this you... doesn't look anything like him. Yeah, was that one at the end where he was making a face? Yeah. Yeah, well, I've seen that picture, too. I think that's pretty yeah. funny. Yeah, well, I guess we just have to agree to disagree. Yeah, I think so. Look at the, see this guy right here on the left, right? Yeah, none of them look like Mark's herbal. Say my brows, say my brows, Jill. Stop being disingenuous. Well, Come say on. my brows. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell <laughs> yeah, you. Smokey looks, looks like nothing now. like him. <laughs> I'll tell you that Smokey looks more like that guy now because I guarantee you that beard is gone. Yeah, well, uh, this, beard, I, this beautiful beard. That's why I'm saying, Joe. Can we at least? I wish I could ride with you, I'm but having, I'm a Christian. I need more I'm than what a, a, What's uh, the last four digits of his no, social? The best thing for you to say. Mark Herbal. What's be, the last four digits of his social? Hey, stop oh. interrupting, you little con boy. What's I the have, last four digits? I'm looking for evidence, not just I have no pictures idea. of people who no look nothing like the social. person you're accusing. All right, when you get the last four digits of his social, and it matches Mark's herbal social, then I'll believe it. Can you do that, Mr. Social oh, Justice yes. Warrior? All right, so who am I supposed God, to look at? You know, the I, I last so four digits of his social. Who's social? <laughs> uh, either. Wait, oh, wait Marx. No. What, name should, what name should I look up? Carl Marx? Marx Herbal. Carl... Right there, him, this guy. No, 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 but Carl Marx. Who, who do I look up for a social? Because... I Mark got Mark Herbal, Herbal, Joshua, who, Nathan. Who do, I, who do I compare it with? Do I look up Smokey Saint in the social? I'll get I, I'll get his I'll get his social, and if it matches, then I'll believe you. How are you going to get his social? From Will Kincaid. Will Kincaid has a social. <laughs> yeah, he won't give it. Yeah, that'll be a lie. Wait a minute. Is Will is that'll Will Kincaid? Is Will Kincaid? That'll be Christian? more of a convincing, compelling evidence than what you provided here. Is is Will, Will Kincaid? Kincaid is than you. I'll, is Will I'm trying to help you out. Is Will Kincaid a Christian? <laughs> I'm trying to help you guys out. But I don't. I don't listen. To I don't know if he's a crowd. You're not a Christian, so that that's irrelevant. But why would you? Why would you? If you think I'm not a Christian, why wouldn't you trust me or Will Kincaid? I I don't. I'm looking for evidence. I don't care who provides. You're trusting one. I, I don't care if Barney. I don't care if Barney provided. Someone who has confessed that he's not Christian. <laughs> Somebody I tell provide you, evidence. I'm not looking for evidence. I tell you. I, tell I don't you care now. if it's Barney. I tell you, right I love now, you. Jill, I you am love. Well, I Stop you interrupting, you little cowboy. We're one big happy. Thank God you're nervous. I said, stop yeah. interrupting. That might right, confirm so, that. So yeah, come sorry. on, come on back in, um, Bro Bill. He he ran. Uh, Will Kincaid so. is dumber than he is. Well, I, well, I don't I mean, think so. I think Will Kincaid is a little craftier. He thinks. He spotted Will Kincaid's like a talent agent, and he thinks he's found something in Smokey, his his cash cow. Unfortunately, he picked the guy who's now convicted for pedophilia. This is a behavior from so-called Christian. This is actually a behavior. This is actually be you got kicked? 
Well, because you are warned that to be quiet, but you ran from the backstage. So you ran. I was going to bring、uh, bring back you in after Rob has finished. All right. So you ran, man. So the evidence is like very clear. We got the photo. We have the phone number, and obviously we know that it's the same person. And if you do not agree with that, you're gonna have to present the counter. We、All、got、right? the Jesse Lee Peterson video. We've got、uh, right the road trip. We've got photos、right. of the credit、uh, card info courthouse coming out of the hearing. Com Com fourteen. <laughs> Com fourteen, not so comfortable. That's all right. That's all right. We need to, you need to stop so that Smokey can start his chat. <laughs> so here's the thing:、uh, if and when, well, you know, obviously Josh will never、uh, address this.、Uh, what we have surely have addressed. He will actually go on with something quite irrelevant on and on. Uh, such as I don't know some other people that he's going to dog on, so he's not going to be able to address this, and because now he's convicted and now that、uh, he is actually being scrutinized, so we know for sure that、um, uh, guys like what's his name、uh, Conboy. There is no of. I mean, when you have like no discernment, like guys like him,、Why? it is not possible.、Oh, All right. So, hey, hey, what is your counter? Accused that kick me. Why you falsely accused? Why you ran? Why you ran? You were at the backstage and you, you ran. Me, you kick me. Falsely accuser. Gangnam Why style. Why you falsely accuse? Why are you gangster? Is, is this your best evidence? Just accusing other I, people. I, the the burden of proof is on you, sir. I'm still waiting. No, no, you are the one who says that you're falsely accused. So, like, what are you even falsely accused? You accuser. Me, what about the date of birth? The same date of birth that he's been already same, presented.、Uh, you know Smokey's date of birth. Yeah, right there. You do.、Uh, how do、yeah. you? Where did you get Smokey's date of? Oh, that's no, that's Mark's Herbal Joshua's date of birth. What's Smokey's、right. date of、so、birth? Same thing. Same thing. Same、oh, thing.、Yeah. What, yep. What's your evidence? Same. Same height,、uh -huh. you, same height. Yeah, yeah. six foot. Same、yeah. height. Okay. Yeah.、Uh, that same so height. So if you have it, if you have any same height, same、uh, weight, same you, birthday. Where do you get Smokey's so, date of birth? Same pastor. Where does he get Smokey's so, date of birth? So, so、okay. please、All、provide、right. us counter. Do you、uh, have his birthday? I, I don't、hey. have anything to counter, sir. Well, then why、There's、do you say that you are false、Case、accusing? You, are, you don't even. You are the one without anything. Burden of proof is on you, sir. You are the one you without any name. Do you understand that? You don't even have a counter. What it means to prosecute, you need that. You don't even have a counter. The defendant does not have to provide evidence of innocence. You need to provide evidence of guilt. Let's go. You have his. How do you, you know his, his date of birth? Where hey, did you get hey, social? Where did you get his date of birth from? Hey, Conway, do you have his ID? Okay, so you don't have his date of birth. No, you don't no, have it. You、ID. don't have his date of birth. I, I need、do. you to provide you that.、Sure. I love the fact I that Jill is Jill is defending a an, a cartoon. That's、uh, the most fun thing for me. With this. <laughs> Why you false? You realize you realize you realize he's not a real person. Like、All right. Only, so the only、I'll、thing、wait. you know about him is on, I got five minutes, guys. That he, that he wears a cloak. I, I I got no more time. I got a date with、um, outlines. You got a date with online chat. Twenty five thousand. So he's out on bail for now till trial. Daniel, that's not your real voice. Just like this isn't Smokey. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was Where's your counter? Hey, hey, um. Hey, that was Mr. Miller. He got a bunch of frauds, man. He got to call you though, Christian. No, no what, doubt. Joe. Where did Bill Burbank go? No doubt, Joe. Where did hey, Bill Burbank go? Joe, Burbank Joe where, you where know my name. Go? He ran when I came in. Why did he run? Why are you so cute? Why you so cute? Joe, you know my name. Conway. Hey, Conway, prove it. Prove it, man. Prove that Rob is Rob. Hey, Joe, do you know my name? Jules. You know my name, Joe. Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Jill, you are you talking to me? He's coming down, idiot. Feeling left、Dang、out. Dang him down. Can you hear me, Jill? I cannot even say anything. 
Can you hear me, Jill, or are you ignoring me, sweetheart? Why do you falsely accuse? Can you hear me, Sam? Yes, I hear you. Oh, hey, Jill. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. So, so he's out with trial. I have no idea. I don't really care. My name's Rob Reed. I don't care. You familiar with that guy? I don't care who Rob Reed is. Uh, you could you could look me up. I know he's a social justice warrior lawyer. I'm a social justice warrior lawyer in Encino, <laughs> California. I can tell you my he address admitted, he, he admitted. is one one six five three zero Ventura Boulevard, Suite three twelve, Encino nine one four three six. You could come and visit. I'd love to have a chat with you. Great. Now, we'll how much? How much? How much do you know about Smokey? Now do that with Smokey, and you win. Well, why don't why don't you have Smokey do that for you? I, I don't really need that evidence. Has he has he ever done that for you? A burden of you? Do you mean that you've made you've made the assumption that somebody who's a cartoon is a Christian? You've made if that I assumption. Can get, if I can get the social security, I thought you didn't make any assumptions. So you have or made the assumption. A, where, let's where just, is let's the start there. Yeah. This is the last thing. What is what has led three, you to the assumption that Smokey what, is a Christian? I need because he because he voted for Trump. I need do three you, pieces of information. What do you need? I need the social, I need the date of birth, and uh, need social. I need those two. You don't need There's social, mom. Social you and the social. date of birth. Um, yeah, well, do I, have I don't Max, have a social. You don't have Max Herbert's social? Uh, no. Got everything else on the man. Uh, well, we've got uh, his criminal record, at least this part. Yeah, that's not Oh, it's Max. I Max need a now. social. The we got him when he was 100 Jesse pounds, Peter. when he was 100 pounds heavier on the Jesse Lee Peterson show. That, that should be... Uh, we've got his mug shot from 2017 where he's yeah, a little looks bit heavier. like this man. We've got him on uh, Sister Sunshine's right. chat where he said that he had lost 100 pounds. And that still looks nothing like this. And guy. he had a beard that looks absolutely like this guy just with glasses. That's uh, there are there are photographs that I have in my possession where he's wearing glasses in court. Oh, took them off for purposes oh of his mug shot. And he looks right. exactly yeah. like the guy. Oh, you're wasting your time, sir. And he happens to be hanging out outside you know, the hearing. Throwing this crap out of court. No, no, this this is e this is like slam dunk. It doesn't get better. Than oh, this. No, it ain't slam. Most dunk. of my cases are not slam dunk. This would yeah, be slam dunk, especially a defamation yeah. claim. I would invite that. That'd be fun. Okay. So this is this is it. No, okay. Here's the deal. Find the social and the date of birth. Is date of birth there? Otherwise, you're going to maintain the assumption that this isn't him. I right? do see a date birth. Date of birth. Um, I can't really read it because it's, it's sort of blurry. What's the date of birth? September fifteenth, nineteen eighty-two. Eighty-two. Yeah. Okay. All right. I got a date of birth. That's something. Yeah, now I find out Smokey's date of birth. Ah, those doesn't even look like his glasses. Because it's been photoshopped, kid. Yeah, I put the glasses on. Yeah, that's hey, uh, a great job. Dude. I know that you have no idea what, what that Which is. Which Photoshop did you use? I just Wuhan? put the glasses <laughs> on his stupid face. <laughs> you put the glasses on his face. Yeah, good job. Right. Dude. Uh, you, would be, right. you would be arrested. Can you do that? Can you do you that? You would be either? arrested for the, for the crime. Arrested? Arrested of, for what, man? Uh, huh? You little false accuser, arrested for what? You arrested for the crime of Photoshop? Man. That's already <laughs> that, been convicted. Would he be you arrested for the crime of like Photoshop? Photoshop? Putting glasses on him. And those are Why would he look like some, does Smokey wear glasses? How do you know that? Oh, my it's goodness. This is horrible. How do you know Smokey wears glasses? Uh, Jill, you really think Jill you're starting to reveal yourself, my friend. You know, the reason that you know. The reason you know Smokey wears Jesus. glasses is because you know that's him in the Jesse Lee Peterson so video, don't you? Well, that's the a reason, good job, dude. Jill, Jill, oh, your, your what, demons what, are your demons are failing you right now, the, kid. What's the Smokey is thirty nine. What the, what the software are you using? <laughs> <laughs> Fake what software lab, are you, using you to failed, make these photos, man. Vicky? This is a that's pretty good. Thick you know, shays, you know, you know you Can you say for, thick shays? Hey, hey, Cowboy. Can you say thick shays? Hmm? In the um, it's thick yeah, we're working for the CIA man. or somebody. Hey, you know, you, they're, they're how long have you been on YouTube, like by the way? Hey, 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 Convoy. You know, FBI, how long have you been on YouTube? Why don't you go work for them or something? Yeah, you know, how long have you done of your business? How long have you been on YouTube? Yeah. Oh gosh, man. So this is hey, how you Cowboy, guys got how long have you been on YouTube? 
of Josh Herbert. How put glasses long on him have you been on YouTube, Conboy? Conboy, oh how goodness. long have you been on YouTube? I have no idea. You can go check my actually uh, my first account. Man. What do you know then? What but, do you know? Um, do you have his social? Hey, hey, Conboy, do you have his social? I'm on the road. You can find me with Mark's Herbert. Well, provide it, man. Team. Provide it. You're gonna have to no, get I, it from. You're gonna get you go, hey, hey, hey convoy. Listen, you're gonna have to said, get it I'll from get it Josh, Josh. Okay, convoy. You're gonna have to get it from Josh, aka yes, sir. Smokey. That's what I said. All right. That's what I provide, said. Provide. Provide a provide the social. Josh. Now, if he provides and wrong Lou. social, if he provides a wrong social, that's a violation if because he he's in supervisor. If he provides, he's been supervising. Okay. He's in. Yeah. But if he provides I mean, get me it through, his social, get it through a thick skull, man. He is in supervised probation. Uh, for, according to who you? We don't believe you. We don't well, believe well, you. Well, he, well, then you're gonna have to get it, man. Need evidence. Get this. Hey, can, hey, where's the social, man? Where it. is? Hey, convoy. Where's the social? Do you know what future tense means? Convoy. Where is, where is the social? Tense. I will get it. Where what you can do? So you're gonna have to show it. This for Jill, then I gotta go. It's for Jill and I go. You can go right now. You can go right now to the Smoky Saints chat, chat, and it's Kenny who's on Smoky Saints uh, cell phone right now, and you can ask him. Why don't you ask him and say, "Hey, were you were you at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse this I, past?" I don't know why that's relevant. March thirtieth. Okay, well, because that was the date. That was the date of the hearing for this guy on the screen. That's why it's relevant, right? You right. want proof, right? Do you that's want proof, true. or you just want to believe your lies? Is that what you want? Okay. That's so you could proof. you could go to Pastor Kenny and ask him why he was in the courthouse with Joshua Nathan Marks Herbell during his Eight. road trip with Smoky yeah. Saint. Yeah, I, I haven't seen evidence of that. But I'm telling you right now, ask Kenny. I, I don't believe. Ask that. Kenny. Okay, I'll ask him. Why don't you ask him? And why don't you come back and let me know what so, Kenny said? Because I would be yeah. very, very interested if Pastor Kenny said that he was not in the Mecklenburg courthouse on March 30th. Yeah, I, and I'm then sure. and then I'll apologize. And then you could you could call me a liar all you want. How's that? And when yeah. I get the social security number, you don't need the you don't need the social security number. Yeah, you just need, need to talk to Pastor Kenny, who you know you compare, in you the last week has been a to get it. Saint, right? I, I need He's, something. Can I He's say no pastor. You, can they, you dox they did go to the <laughs> and put them put their information. Go on, on ask I, Kenny. Go on, ask, ask, go ask Kenny. Go ask Kenny where he was on March thirtieth on the at nine thirty a.m. Eleven a.m. Uh, well, You'd have okay. to rely on him to tell the truth, wouldn't you? Thank you. Go ask. Go ask Pastor Kenny where he was at eleven a.m. on March thirtieth, Jill. How about start there? So don't trust me because you you believe Pastor Kenny's a Christian, right, Jill? So you can trust him, right? Right, Jill? Jill, are you there? You you believe Pastor Kenny's a Christian? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, what makes you think he's a pastor? Right? Pastor so, Kenny's a Christian, right, Jill? Can you get the evidence? Call, let me know. Hey. Well, let me, I'm telling you right now, my, my star witness, my star, Jill, my star witness for evidence. My I star, would have went to court too with my family my, member to my, see the pants my, of you. My star witness, putting this man's information Jill, out Jill, there. my my star witness is Pastor Kenny. So right. ask Pastor Kenny where he was March thirtieth at eleven a.m. and why was he there? I at hope he was questions. in court. Let me let me let me say this. Why are you expecting him to tell the muted. truth? If yeah. Yeah. I hope that he was in court with Joshua and Smokey yeah. Yeah. suing the pants off of you for falsely accusing and putting this man's information out in the public. All right, please no I one else say so. anything. Please I, let, me, I, let me comment to that. Now, yeah, Jill, you I, claim you, you think you're a smart so, person, so right? Evidence. Jill, you, you think you're a smart person, right? Oh, he ran. Uh oh, this, I just this heard is for, Smokey no. say he liked underage girl. This is this is for Jill. What what I was gonna say to Jill is why would Smokey and Kenny need to go to North Carolina to sue me when they both live in California and I live in California? Why, why would they? See, Jill, you, you make a lot of assumptions even though you say you don't. And that comment that you're making right now is stupid. This it's stupid. Yeah. Jill, it's dumb. Gonna tell it. What makes you think Kenny's going to tell the truth? Yeah, well, but he's 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 
he's refusing to answer my very reasonable question. I present, he wanted evidence. I've given him the star witness and he refuses. So and he knows what I'm saying makes sense. playing some background garbage. Give over. So anyway, God bless you guys. Uh, to, uh, and I, I continue to pray for the victim, that things will work out for her, and that she has peace. And God bless everyone. All right, so I got to head out. Take it easy, Tim. All right, see you later. All that. Yeah. Adios. <laughs> see you later. I played all that while they were talking. What's going on, Daniel? What's going on, Daniel? Oh, nothing. I played all that while they were talking. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I, I, I was just playing where Smokey was. Smokey was saying, uh, let me back it up here. Right, Guess so, where Jill's gone now? He's in Smokey's side. He's in Smokey's studio. Blabbing. Please. As, oh, you mean like he has a he's having a hangout? Okay. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Wisdom and experience just told me to. You know what? Let him do that. Let him do that. Let him just let him defile you. Let him defile you. Let him do that. All right. So let me just share. And second of all, what um, it doesn't matter what people think. It's what matter what God thinks of you. God knows your heart. And the people that know you can attest to you. You hear that? I'm reading that. Yes, no. It's wrong. It's not as powerful as the people that know you. So, yeah. Yeah. I decided. Yeah. yeah so, this, I decided, yeah, you know what? To hell with it. No more strife. I mean, you can't, you can't make, you can't talk sense to an idiot, too. No, you as, can't. Yeah. And then it was really evident when. He was in Dave's stream and we gave him a total spanking. So, okay, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. I'm not going after again. What yeah. Yeah. These so, so he's lying about. He's lying again. And by the way, oh, will do. This is this is this is Josh. Hold on, hold on, Daniel. Can you mute yourself? This is Josh. This is Josh, and he's doing it on his mobile. They say, read them like a book, and, and they just have no idea. He said, "Well, well, said well that, um, that, you know, like, let me, let me go back Jewish. into my avatar because I can best explain my uh, my uh, the essence of my abilities." He said, uh, "Okay, where's so that all, the the oh. all right. <clears throat> well, to, well, for me, uh, for me, um, Smokey Ken." Um, you see, I'm a blade. Okay, I'm a sword. Oh, when the light when the light reflects when the light, when the light reflects you, this is when the when the light reflects you through me, there's nothing you could do to hide from me. Your intentions are, your intentions are, um, your intentions are, are revealed. And if the, if, if the cut is painful, don't blame me. Blame the blade. What You're the one who came after me. Oh, and really just an observer. Oh. What he, thinks, he thinks God gave him the power to swing the sword. Yeah. Buddy, I tell you yeah. what. He's uh, no that, blade. He's not even a yeah, book and I. Both ways. That is mm -hmm. a uh, and, calling uh, at you. You really don't want the dark places. It's the an embarrassment. Every human's heart. And you know, it, it, here's the thing. It's... I don't have much, but I know that oh, I. Oh, there's Kenny the Boy <laughs> on Josh's phone. When I can to be home the people that claim to know the Lord, I know where they're lying when they're lying and when they're not. He's still with him, I so guess. After yeah. Thirty Ooh. years of pastoral ministry. Oh, what uh, years in academia? I could tell you that Thicky is an evil, wicked, demon-filled man. Brian the <laughs> Presbyterian <laughs> is a wicked, evil. Uh, Twinkie filled man. Still um, lies, man. This guy. All of these people are so wicked. I wonder. And, and I, I, I want to give a little story. Let's PhD say that everything everybody's saying about him is true. Over okay, right. so me he as his pastor, I'm traveling them. across country and we're showing up and I got to drop him off in jail and all that kind of stuff and stand with them for a rape trial of a six-year-old, you know, all this kind of stuff. Six-year-old? And uh, who do you think, oh, who do you think is doing the 
enemy's job. The one poking and shooting arrows at the Talk pass strong at this kid. Or is the pastor the one who's doing God's will? No matter what, son. Pastor? If they're repentant. <laughs> oh, we can't have, contradict have, uh, the pastor, away you know. Christians. So e even to follow them through to the logical conclusion, which is argumentum ad absurdum, let, let's take everything they're saying. Where is okay, he so they're the heroes, right? Mm -hmm. They're attacking me. Call me, you know, false teacher all these all these things because you are false, when man. i sacrificially go across country uh, so for what to drop somebody off to jail i'm not uh, that noble number one no man hold number on number two this guy is strong man, because like it's nothing about jail it's about yeah. him no, being, mentioned being jail being sentenced which means that he's being now registered as a sex offender and now, which means that when he comes back to California, he will have to actually register his address. Now, regardless, he has actually the picture, all right, out of the court. So, no, that's that's actually strawman. He's actually there strawman. There are all kinds of horrific situations with victims and the perpetrators. I'll be available in just Probably a minute, but jail. I'm predestined to, to go to jail? Burger King, so... Just okay, well, pick me up a, a burger as well, if you would. So, it, it's, you know, these guys are so wicked, so unbelievably uh, neurotic in their obsession to take down somebody that only thing he has done is destroy them with the wit of his tongue. Oh, gibble. And right. it's unbelievable. I can't believe it. And that's why I knew Vicky right off the bat. Um, I, I refused to play his passive aggressive games one night. The next thing I know, videos are made passive about me. I'm a false teacher. I was accused of being a homosexual once by a guy who I caught. Oh, it doesn't matter how much you accuse and accuse, Kenny Boyd. The, uh, the subject matter here is actually you were there at the court with yeah. Josh. Nobody else. You know what's what, ironic, you. Sam? The, mm -hmm. This guy, Kenny, says the word repent doesn't belong in the King James Bible. <laughs> wow. So, so just because you call me names or just because you go on totally irrelevant, you love some sort of straw man when nobody said about six-year-old, it's actually 13 and you said you know, uh, the victim was almost 16, which is not true. Are we actually addressing those points? All right, Kenny boy. And the fact that you were there and the photo was taken, you and Josh together, actually kind of confirms that you are there for that reason. And when you lie like that, saying, you know, with all the kind of straw man, it tells me that you are not even a pastor. Nor a Christian. If I don't catch you, someone else will. Right. Because because you, the, the thing is the thing is um, the thing is, um, Doctor Kenny. Doctor Kenny. People <laughs> who get caught in the act need to validate and justify themselves. And I need you to listen to me carefully, Cat Earth. I need you to listen to me if you're still there. Once these psychopaths are exposed, they want to validate themselves. So what do they do? Again, they revile, they make a de facto reviling statement about their uh, opponents because they have to be validated. They seek validation, but they won't, but they won't do that by explaining themselves. Oh, no, no, no. What they're going to do is that they would rather revile. These guys are actually the victims, as I have said, like this book oh, yeah. guy. Yeah. And they uh, have many... suffered torture. Yeah, these guys are actually the victims. Uh... Supposed to get into people's business, but how could I not be concerned when you're trying to when you're trying to put to pull false pedophile allegations on a person? False right. pedophile allegations are serious. These are serious, and then these these are normally followed by a death sentence. Okay, I hate the bud in, and but you, I gotta and go. Could guys. you imagine? Usually by the father. Usually by yeah. the father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, usually, so you, you and go. then could you imagine? All right, Daniel. 
that could you imagine Ficky and like, his little um, <laughs> antics trying to somewhat expose Smokey? He does not understand that while he's that while he may think he's trying to leverage from Smokey with the number of faces he has, does he not know how much backlash? How much backlash, how much allegations, how much accusations, how much problems does that cause? I mean, your face is literally out there in the internet. If you're, and then here's the thing, Vicky is not the only psychopath there. Thick Somebody who's probably trying to escape the Mark, authorities may put shades, those charges that? against those people who had nothing to do with the crime. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and now and now you're trying, and now they're trying to uh, frame Smokey for yeah. false pedophile yeah. accusations. Mm -hmm. Dude, you got you know, yeah, no. he's got yes, yeah. man. Surely this is is this not a breach of bloody? He's proven convicted pedophile nonce, and and they're on there claiming a claiming his innocence when a judge, as, as directed by the court of the land said he's a convicted paedophile, three years on probation, 10 years plus on the sex registry, and these people smoking their endorsement on Smokey's channel proclaiming innocence. Surely this is a breach of bloody, uh, breach of, of that, surely. Now, this is how, this is how Josh is. You notice that Josh is not there, okay? You notice that, you know, he's having actually Kenny as a front, and you know have him talk his lies so he will not be in, in trouble so to say for telling lies right because he knows he's right now in he's in uh, supervision and he knows that you know anything goes you know, like sideways he's going to end up in jail so he's not going to be directly saying what kenny and other guys these guys are saying so that's why I say that these guys are now victims yeah. of and, and, this liar. And this also proves what I said earlier. I didn't like to say it, and I always try and hope for the best. We are now proven beyond any shadow of doubt, everyone on there is a fake Christian. These are literally tears. And I've been watching the comments. So as predicted, praise I am is there. Garu ladies there, Olive, they're all there, and these are fake Christians. I don't care what anyone says now. I don't care whatever excuse they made. I predicted this, didn't I, an hour and a half ago. They would yeah. be on there, double down, and they will show their true colors, and God has manifest this before our very sight that these are children of darkness and of Satan, and they are by no wise the beloved like us. That is that is more important than and than anything because this is eternal and these people are lost crazy right. saying he left the faith today bill yeah yeah what yeah if man he's such a flip-flopper and he's an obvious po it's embarrassing but that wouldn't surprise me in and out of the faith he's in and out of the law in and out of grace in and out of every doctrine of devil and man there is these are literally all pose. We have we have Smokey's so-called pastor with fake PhDs from the 700 Club. We have that Andrew is a complete nut job. Bogey is so a child, he doesn't even know what Jesus actually means. You've got flipping, we've got Jill there who finds it funny that my daughter died and justifying bloody uh Smokey. I mean, the whole lot is there. These are pose manifesting. And I'll tell you what. If anyone even stumbles even near me again and even inclines slightly that these people, you know, are Christians, man, woe betide you. Don't ever cross my path. A lot of women abused it. What about the hashtag U2 movement? How many men have been destroyed by false accusations and vindictive women? Both uh, sexes are evil. Don't think that one is any more manipulative over the other one. Plus, women know that they can use sex against men. You I can get a, any man to act unbelievable. This Kenny boy says that the victim actually used the uh, Me Too movement. When actually it has been clarified that it has nothing to do with Me Too movement. Uh, the investigation started way before Me Too movement. 
and that has been already clarified. But here again, using the same lying argument to justify Josh. Now again, I want to clarify that Josh is not saying this. Josh Josh has told this little lies to guys like Kenny so that he can lie for him. And he and that way he's not going to be violating probation. And yet, you know, having people victimized again like this. All right. And I think it is really important for the victim to actually realize what's going on and actually have uh, her attorney be known. And this sort of thing shouldn't happen and wouldn't happen continuously, justifying his action in a pedo action. And then they expect you to be honest with them. All right. Uh, Cat Earth, I'm sorry, but when you say someone he looks like or somebody looks like, it doesn't cut it. If you want to, if you want, oh, if you want to like. oh, be man. solid. Flip it, this is embarrassing. It's not look like, it's fact. Literally. Well, and, fact. Also, and also, Rob has actually uh, an evidence that is the court picture when Kenny is with the person who looks like. But the thing is that none of these guys have any idea uh, how Josh looks like at all. Okay, so he's still lying for the pedophile. You know, I had somebody. I come in defense. Um, I, I hey, come Bruce. in defense. Yes, I come in defense of Smokey the Saint. <laughs> because, <laughs> well, sometimes you can find breadcrumbs really cheap. Sometimes they even give them away. And uh, he's just scattering breadcrumbs. He's got Kenny working with him. And, um, it's like uh, satanic manna falling from the sky or something that came up from the pits of hell. And uh, so that's why they're, you know, Kenny and them were, were driving down south at this particular date. Uh, they're just breadcrumbs, like everything. Right, right. You know, it's just uh, all along the uh, Kentucky and North Carolina, all the breadcrumbs everywhere. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yeah, you have car accidents that can barely okay. steer in this. Man, stuff. forget about the war in the highways. About the war in Ukraine. Forget about the flower prices. You know they're dropping <laughs> all these breadcrumbs, man. They have plenty, plenty. <laughs> Look at Rob is there, Kenny, yeah, Kenny, um, Kenny. Sam, can I ask you a question? Uh huh. Because I don't understand all the law concerning this. But what happens if somebody goes into Smokey's studio and asks him if he is on the sexual? that register thingy, and he denies it, would he be breaking the law? I, I, I would think so. Yeah? He, he should you get actually... Go in there and ask him then, don't we? Yeah, yeah, that's this week's challenge, then. Whenever he does show his, his pretend pseudo-bloody clothed cartoon picture of Satan, someone should go in there and ask him, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw Elvis the other day. But the thing is, like, yeah, but the thing is, like, there's no Josh here. Okay. So Josh is using these guys. So yeah. he's still, he still thinks that he is justified. He still thinks that, you know, he can get away with this sort of lies. I I no, no, it's, it's, they're a band called Living Color. But anyway, they have oh, a tune okay. called the Elvis is Dead. It's funky. I love it. And then Messio from, uh, James Brown does probably the funkiest, grooviest uh, sax solo that I've ever heard in my life. It's called Elvis oh, is Dead by Living Color. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fantastic band. One of my favorite bands of all time, really. Uh, well, top 25, probably, for sure. And, and, well, and there are the song, is off his ugly head. Oh, that's a great tune. And of course, uh, well, you know, I mean, nobody will answer. I mean, Josh will not answer because Josh is not here talking. His speak actually, Smokey can as Kenny using oh. his phone. So, all oh, right, he's not oh, going see. to answer to the question. Uh, what a surprise! Uh, what a surprise! Hard. I have to say that. What a surprise! Fleckle was turned up there. Hey, hey, and the chef is in the I know, what a surprise. yeah. Shepard's ambassador. Yeah, he's yeah, a moron. Yeah, and he's a smoky fan as well. I, I ex expected more from Beckel. 
I thought Vettel wouldn't even go near oh, that. that man. He's got oh, a spanner, yeah. Bill. His Venti yeah. is listening to both, probably. So, but whatever it is, it's, it's, it's like crazy boy, you know, going back and forth, back and forth. So, anyway, man, who cares, I man? The oh, there's Vecky. Right He's saying, hey, hey, here. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> He's so expectable. I just seem to recall Doug Wilberish being a bassist as well. Yeah, there, there may have been some uh, personnel changes, you know, in latter years. Bunch of liars, man. How can anyway, you think we have any more uh, people wanting to come in? No, no, no. They're, they're probably one of my favorite bands. Yeah, yeah. What kind of music do you listen to there, Jill? All right, so they're, they're into music. All right, so... Uh, yeah, well, last, there's, always, there's, no, there's no need for now. No. So let's check out uh, Vecchi. Come on, Vettel. Are you endorsing the uh, the convicted pedophile now? That's what we want to know. Your friend, Jill, is uh, defending the convicted pedophile. Who's he calling a heretic? Well, he was well, accusing, obviously. That's one thing that I noticed. Vecchi accuses quite a bit. Why are you false accused, Vecchi? Well, did... It, it's I'm still. Is there are there any complications you think for some people in this though? And I do apologize for insulting breadcrumbs and even the uh, uh, bread yeah, I'll bet Veckel in. I'll bet yeah, no, I mean maybe Veckel's. Uh, I think it's, it is. There are some areas that might still be complicated for a lot of people. Well, yeah, it might be, but the, the blatant facts are: Smokey saying is now a convicted paedophile. He's literally three years on probation, 10 years on a sex offenders list. That is a fact. That's minimum. 30 so, years. Yeah. 30 years. Yeah. 10 meaning okay, like so over 10, over 10 years. Mean 30 years. Okay, okay, here's come on my in, question. Because we're saying fact, right? Here's my issue with fact. How do we know that it's an absolute fact that it is absolutely 100% him? Because uh, secretly, and you have to speak to uh, a, a personal friend, of me and you on Facebook, who's got actual photographic evidence, or I'm not mentioning names. Well, there's also, I, I, I will just add this that he threw breadcrumbs out in the past. However, these aren't breadcrumbs. I, I've been in question with this whether it's absolute, but I will say this he certainly deserves it at this point. When he made videos with Kenny, they're driving down south, going to the same place at the same time that's pretty weird you know what i mean i mean it's like you almost have to ex they, they should certainly expect it or were they just breadcrumbs but that's an awful long drive for breadcrumbs for something that's a long that, drive that's a long drive for breadcrumbs Very yeah and for something that you're not you just happen to be going to that same place in the same couple days kind of odd the nine guy nine. that was on jesse lee peterson's and sister sunshine's it, they See, I remember him saying a while back, good while back, that he used the name J because it's the first letter of his real name. I remember that. And, you know, it's hard to ignore some of this stuff as you tie it together. So I'm saying, no, I don't have 100% absolute proof, but it's pretty obvious at this point. What is proven is that uh, Josh is a pedo. Now, I can officially say it, that he is officially, uh, you know, registered as sex offender. And that is, you know, without any kind of a doubt, that is confirmation. Well, uh, I would like to point may... you know, out, you're being mean, mm -hmm. though. I mean, you're being mean because you don't know this absolute look. It's not like this guy's going around calling people faggots and whores and bitches and sluts and shit. <laughs> You're a decent guy here we're talking about. Come on. Oh Gee. <laughs> so, yeah. So, now, people like, uh, you know, Conboy, Jill, He has a. he's kind of slow. He cannot really have critical thinking. And even any kind of evidence is presented, he, he will not be able to bridge anything. So I, I don't really consider uh, such people as, you know, whatever. But 
insofar as like a lot of circumstantial stuff, like <laughs> how they are in North Carolina, in Comfort Inn, using Comfort's <laughs> credit card, you know, you know, for that uh, 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 sentencing uh, to be taken, you know, it's, it's just, and also plus that um, there is a photograph of the guys walking out from the court, just two of them, hand in hand, not in hand in hand. And, you know, there is just plenty of evidence that, in fact, Josh is smoky and smoky is Josh. So there is no actual denying that that person is that circum uh, uh, circumstantially. However, whether that Smokey is Josh or Josh is Smokey, that is quite secondary now. The actual fact is that Joshua Horbell is a pedophile, is a pedo now that's confirmed. So the moment that he registered his address, we know that that uh, guy in California, um, Josh Harbell, whom he he provided the phone number with, the same guy with the same address, that phone number registered. All right, when he actually registered registered that uh, his uh, address, which is quite required by the law, when he does so, that's actually, you know, another confirmation that you know smoky is josh could i so, ask if you what do you find wrong seriously like okay so a person's old enough to drink they're just two years older than you know they're able to go to fight battle go to war or whatever right but they're old enough to drink and so they want to go out and have a date or something with like a seventh grader like what's the issue here 13 and 21 you don't see a problem with that huh Oh boy, boy, this world, people are so mean. I mean, dang on, he's a decent guy that treats people with respect. I just want to let, I just want to say, I'm sorry, I have a bad sense of humor. I apologize. I know, you, you're being facetious, I, I know, but uh, uh, such a <laughs> is, uh, is new. <laughs> So, <laughs> Twenty-one and a seventh grader. Okay, come obviously on. she doesn't. She doesn't know I'm that sorry. you're joking. Uh, I apologize. So, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Vicky. <laughs> hey, Vicky. You said that you know you asked us to come in, and you are invited to come in. Now you are watching movie. I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, so, but he thinks we're all heretics. We don't know which heretics to talk to. <laughs> He's the Calvinist. Actually, I like Beckle, though. <laughs> oh, Charles said Bruce stuff. Okay, I'll stop. It is bad. But, I mean, I, still, though, the, the 21 and, yeah, and the seventh grader or something, yeah, that's pretty sick. He did. He, he has made, oh, Beckle, thank you for your all-encompassing statement. He's Follow here right Matt, now. Matt, 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 I'd hang out with a bunch of heretics, so, you know, take some time off to hang out with some guys. So, What's going on? Well, well, the excitement is, is that Smokey Saint, Joshua Hill Bell, is now a convicted paedophile, three years on probation, 10 years plus on a sexual uh, uh, register. Yeah. And I'm just wondering, I'm just hoping, because we've already had Jill come in, defended him, and we know that Jill, maybe he would have defended Matt Bell as well, but we're just mm -hmm. kind of hoping you're not going to be the same ilk as defending a registered sex offender no, 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 not at all. No, um, if if this is true that it's really is him, well, he's, um, yeah, he's I'm not going to defend it. The only thing I will say though is, what business is it of, of anyone here who's not looking to him as a any type of uh, spiritual authority? Yeah, my my business, about it, so. yeah, yeah the, my business is personal because Smokey called me a liar, and Smokey said I've sent my daughter to hell. And yeah. I'm a soul murderer. I didn't like, yeah, I condemned that. Yeah. So, and I abused her. He actually said I abused her in, in a, in perhaps a sexual manner. So we threw that out. He, well. actually said, he actually said that? Yeah. That part I didn't hear. I heard about the part. Yeah, you missed that. Yeah. yeah, you missed that. And Ryan was on that one. And Ryan went, ha, 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 Because I, I, I downloaded that and I've still got it. But I so, 
Yeah, this is why, you know, it's so blatantly obviously he's been doing projection so much that he had to project that I was a, 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 a murderer of children and, and, and a paedophile, when now he's literally, thanks be to God, is now a convicted paedophile. And I was actually embarrassed. And I know you're friends with Jill, but Jill, Jill's response to that was, Bill, your butt hurt because your daughter's dead. Ha, ha, ha. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what kind of Christian Jill is, or whether you should even be hanging around with this Jill. But he finds it funny my daughter died, and that 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 and all this sort of stuff. I just wonder what your thoughts are on that. And what makes you think that anybody in this studio uh, thinks of Smokey as a spiritual authority? He's never been. No, what I'm what I what I'm saying that is um, you know, listen, numbers twenty-three thirty-two, or maybe I got the numbers backwards, says that your sins be sure that your sins will find you out. Yeah, so yeah, 32, 23, yeah. 32, 32, 32, 32, 23, right. So you be sure that your sins will find you out. So this could be if this is indeed uh the case with, with Smokey, um, then this is something that was bound to happen and it was just gonna happen, it was only a matter of time. And uh, yeah, so nobody should be congratulating it or condemning, uh, I mean, condoning uh, this type of behavior. Uh, you know, whether they look up to him in some sort of spiritual manner or 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 not. Um, so, but the fact oh, that no, he's, not, he's yeah. not on, he's not on Christian, he's not on my Christian radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jill, they're on my Satan radar. Pseudo Tez radar, <laughs> Satan radar. Okay. Right. What? So what? Jill was actually in here and defending. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Defend and he had to go the umph degree, and he did actually put the laughing faces, uh, i.e., that Bill's just butt hurt because he, he's, you know, he killed his daughter. Ha ha ha. So that's that's the kind of Christian that I don't think is a Christian. I think that's a a tear that is. Perhaps uh, Christian leaning because they're conservative, but have not received new birth and are filled with Satan. Hmm. Yeah, you that's know, not, that's not I, cool. I, yeah. If, if he didn't have himself in a teaching position and doing the whole thing, I mean, honestly, a lot of people probably maybe they would care not as much. But his going around and treating people like crap for the last couple of years is creating pure hell for people. I mean, uh even to the point where some people may have, very well may have lost their faith. And you know what? We'll never know. We'll never know who was affected. I know you guys just say that can't happen. Well, then well, maybe started on that. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. They could be majorly backslid or maybe they were never saved to begin with, but maybe they would have been. Let's see if we include That's maybe just the ability to make a choice. That's possible. Okay. So if Smokey affected him, and I guarantee anybody knew who came in here on YouTube and heard the way he was treating people, there's no way in the world anybody with half a dang brain would want to have anything to do with that idea of Christianity, listening to people called effing this and that and whores and bitches, sluts, cocksuckers and everything else. I'm sorry, man. There's no way. That dude is anti-gospel. Yeah, and know, he, not he, he interacted with that girl at such a um a vulnerable age. Who knows what effect he had on her Absolutely. in terms of uh Christianity and uh her relationship with God. Well, imagine what it does now to her to look. Imagine like back then I have no idea where his faith was or what he was at like, but imagine now if somebody looks at that and thinks, wow. You know, unless they were changed. But then if you come in and look at how the guy treats people, there's nothing that would make, I think, anybody with half a brain, even, a, well, let's say, no brain, but still a conscience of some type, how in the world would they think that this guy was a Christian? You have to be nuts. Well, you know, you know, uh, I, you know, I've made, uh, last couple of weeks, I've been making uh, comments uh, publicly uh, against Smokey. Uh, you know, everybody who knows me, knows my 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 issues with him uh, i don't like his methodology either uh and i've and i've been outspoken about it as well but uh you know i mean you can't convince everybody you know so no. what, what usually ends up happening is me uh being accused of uh 
of uh, being a, a wuss or some sort of soy soy boy because I don't like uh, the way uh, you know certain you know people are treated. You know. That's bull crap, Feckle. So, you know, in real life, we all know in life, nobody would put up with that dang crap. Oh, yeah, of course. Maybe a few, but not it's, many. It's, not yeah. many would ever put up with that in face yeah. to face. Like, it, well, it it's not so much that. that. It's it's not it's not so much that. What really matters is uh, True, though. that it's unbecoming of a of a one of one who professes to be of Christ. You know, well, absolutely. You can't walk around and and you know, call people whole, you know, whores, faggots, and, or, or even if they're not even behaving that way, but you're calling them that in a spiritual sense and, and try to say <laughs> utilitarian to use this That's type of language. Uh, it, it, yeah. I don't think anybody's falling for it, but you know, no. you know, but if, but if you just say you like live by the sword, you die by the sword. So that's the way it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, if, 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 if whether it's your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, could you imagine somebody coming up and standing beside your wife or if you're younger, you had a girlfriend, whatever, and calling her a whore, bitch, slut and everything else? How how well would that guy be doing that day? You know what I mean? Well, if somebody like, did that with my mean? wife, I, I'd probably pull a Will Smith. And, uh, you know, my whole point is, yeah, <laughs> this wouldn't even happen. Like, this is insanity. Like, this is. This is and and to claim that it's Christian morality, yeah, he's busting on others for their moral views. You're like, what? This well, is it's the most bizarre thing I've watched since my time on YouTube. And wait, the thing so now, that people are dumb enough to fall for it. That's the amazing part. So, so now let me let me ask you guys. So because uh, I saw that Ryan posted this video and, and he leaves a link to uh, the image that uh, uh, Fix Shades was just showing. So. Just because so, Ryan so, posted it doesn't mean it's a lie. I, no, 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 no. But it's I, don't, I don't mean to interrupt. I want to tell you something though, real quick, and I'll shut. I didn't, no, up. I didn't say it was a lie. I know, I, I, know I know, but I'll shut up right after this. I just want to throw this in quick. All I right. made a video the other day suggesting that a person should just be themselves, and when it comes to Ryan, I just ask that he be somebody else, anybody, anybody at all. I changed my mind on that right now because uh, anybody but Smokey Saint. Okay, okay, I'm I'm done now. Well, um, well, so what exactly does this mean then? So that he's been registered. So, so it's not doesn't mean that he's going to jail, right? It just means that he's been registered as a physical. Yeah, he's been basically. It means he's convicted of being a a, a paedophile or a nonce, is what he's saying, Britain. He uh, he hasn't gone to literal prison. He's on probation. So any any. Uh, failing of his um, probation for the next, I think, 10 minimum, maybe 30 years. No, they are supervised uh, uh, oh, yes, probation supervised. For, for 36 months, yeah. and his name will be registered for about 30 years. About 30 years. So he's, he's a, and he has, 30 he gets, years? Yeah, so as soon as he gets back, to Canada, years. he has to register on the sex offenders register in California. But again, Sam makes the point. It's going to be super fast. So it's not like you go a uh, probation like you know once a month or whatever. No, he's supervised. They're going to watch him twenty four seven and make sure he ain't looking at things on the internet or going in enticing other children. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's he's full blown, just one step away from uh, Matt Bell because Matt Bell actually went inside. Yeah, he actually went in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the difference was Matt Bell. Uh, was convicted for looking at naughty stuff, but not doing naughty stuff. Right, right. I think Smoke is even worse because he done, he actually done it. Not that I'm justifying Matt Bell, because they're both sick in the head, but what I'm saying is, we have it now that, that Smokey Saint is a convicted pedophile, child molesting, dirty oh. dude. Okay, I do wish we'd be a little nicer, Smokey, because the only thing he's actually admitted to here on YouTube was uh, have accepting oral sex from a guy. Uh, other than that, I mean, he's a uh, stand-up. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's oh, what I'm saying. And and eating. Yeah, you know, geez. He's been knitting as well, Bruce. He's been what? Knitting. Knitting. Oh. Knitting. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> okay, I, I, um, okay. The knitting's not too bad, but but the uh, the other stuff is like, boy, oh boy. Well, actually, his behavior, man, oh man, what is? 
think we've stumbled across a sick pup. He calls people sycophants. Yeah. Makes sense. I, I wish I, I wish Rob was here uh, and I wanted to ask like what, what happens like if he denies, like when someone asks him whether if that's the same person or has been convicted or that name is you or whatever. If he denies that, it would be like in you know, a serious uh, violation, uh, probation. Um, but I would think that it would be. Don't you feel though? I mean, if this is if this is him, um, and Smokey's now. No, his, no, 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 retract that. It's it is him. What are you saying? We're hundred percent. hundred percent. Well, yeah, we're so hundred percent, and I can't even mention why. But well, trust me, as God is my witness, and I swear before heaven, and I, I don't do that unless there's a hundred percent. This right. is a hundred percent fact. It okay. is him. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, either way, man, it's you know I'm looking at this this image here, and it, it's just really sad, man, because this happened when he was 21. And he now it was like now he's like in his early forties. Uh, this is like twenty years ago, and uh, this is going to follow him for the rest of his life, man. No matter how devoted he is to Christ, uh, and it just seems like it, it's sad, man, that he he won't be able to get away from this. But at the same time, I mean, probably nobody in this in this community would be even talking about this had he not behaved the way that he normally does, you know, because a lot of people would, you know, because I mean, any, anybody can go online and look up some stuff about, uh, you know, about each other and uh, get this person's real name or, or see if this person has a criminal record or something like that. Uh, I'm sure people can do that about me. I have, you know, I'm, I'm pretty certain that every last one of you in here could not only know my real name, but also know where I live and, you know, whether or not I've been arrested and all this other type of stuff. But, uh, my behavior hasn't compelled anyone to go through the lengths that some of you guys have done towards Smokey. Uh, and it's because uh, Smokey kind of did this to himself a little bit with, with the behavior that he's done, that he's performed. Um, he's so, he's so, probably now, so I'm asking. Well, it, well, here's the thing, okay? Oh, yeah, Rob, I wanted to ask you and and... and if you can come in, that would be great. But like, let's say um, uh, Josh denies him being that Piro. Okay, let's say, oh yeah, I did search, and you know your name came up, and uh, is this you? And let's say he denies it. Would that be against the uh, the probation, the violation of the probation? I would think that it would be, because you know obviously he's being manipulative and lying. So, and also, uh, hey, uh, Vekul, I want to ask you a question. What if, all right, what if there are a bunch of pictures that both Kenny and Josh, aka Smokey, are at the court? Wow. You mean, and, and those pictures of this Josh and Kenny, the Josh that's sitting next to Kenny looks like the guy we see in the picture in the, in the uh, criminal fo uh, file. No, no, yeah, exactly. That, that picture yeah. that was convicted picture, right? The right. monk shot. Right. Is the same guy was with Kenny at the court. Then I would be convinced. Yeah. Okay. I, I would right. be one. It would, it would confirm in my mind. But, like, it, uh, interesting enough that uh, you know Jill, aka Comboy, he thinks that uh, he, you know, they were there to press uh, charges against Rob, for example, <laughs> which doesn't make sense at all. Why would they even go there when Rob is in California? But so that would be quite convincing, and I, it'll be re really convincing for me too, actually. And in fact, that's another confirmation. I mean, why would like Kenny be? with you know josh yeah that that would convince me uh yeah if if i were to see a picture of of kenny 
sitting next to another person who I, who's identified as Smokey, uh, and then compare that picture to uh, the image that uh, Ryan put on his channel. Yeah, I, I, that would be enough to convince me, I would say. Yeah. Okay. I think that is about to come. What about so the the, who, who, would, who would have a picture of that, though? Who? Well, who? Who? I'm sure there are a lot of people <laughs> no pun interested. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of people who are quite interested in this, especially oh, those who are involved with that sort of things. Sam, can we see those pictures? Oh, uh, I, I, don't, I don't have them yet. I think All the right, pictures I'm... will be coming eventually, but they won't be coming from us. But... Right. So, hey. can, I, can I just add my oh, two cents about something? Terrible. Yes, go ahead, Satori. Feckle, uh, one of the things that you said was that, uh, you know, he's almost 40 and this happened a long time ago and now it's going to follow him around for a long time. But one of the things I want to point out is that, yeah, it did happen a long time ago and it took a long time for this victim to come forward and say something. But, um, you know, she had to live with it for a long time before uh, she said something. And, yeah, that's an excellent point. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I promise you, ah, okay, it gotcha. haunted her for a long time before she was able to come forward and say something about it. Yeah. Gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. And, I don't and know if I, this I, information I, is I, correct, I, can, I, I'm sorry. Ken Hovind, Ken Hovind CPA said that Smokey is streaming right now and saying that he is in Joshua Nathan Hobel. Right. Would that be a violation? That, Sam. Sorry, the mic is terrible. Yeah. Well, let me let me ask real quick. So, between the time of the offense, uh, which according to this document is take place in two thousand four, the offense date two thousand four. Okay. Um, how long did how long before uh, how, how what was the time span between that offense and the time that the victim spoke out 2017 oh okay gotcha so i wanted to apologize for my screwball sense of humor i i know i tend to do that with things that, that bother me a lot like this and but this smoky guy no i he's i've watched him terrorize and treat people like garbage for like two years and and so I guess my way of dealing with it is to just kind of mock it. And I apologize for that. All right. Sorry. That's well, I'm actually, uh, humor. We know your humor, Bruce, but I suppose others don't. But yeah, I, I knew you was doing. You was literally making a mock of Smocky and his, his stupidity. That he's well, such he's just, and he's so innocent and everything else. Yeah. He's cruel and hateful and he doesn't care. Who he hurts, he gets a high from hurting other people. I mean, it's obvious. Well, I'm actually considering uh, going to his channel now, see if they'll let me in so it, so I can talk to them. What do you guys think? It's up to you. I want to get back to my show, really. but uh, no, you know, they, I'll, put it, I'll put it this way, Veckel. They haven't treated you very well lately, and I'm not trying to cause a fight or anything. I'm just oh, saying they've been pretty hey, cruel to you. Hey, man. Hey, tr trust me, Bruce. I hear things. Trust me. You're not telling me anything new. Just uh, simply the, the for trying why, to treat the reason why they treat me like that. The reason why they treat me like that is because of their allegiance to Smokey. You know, all, I haven't said anything personal against any of these guys, but yet because I'm a Calvinist, uh, and because I believe that you can't lose your salvation, I, I do get some of these people coming to me and they're saying, oh, you just wait to Smokey. Here's what you're saying right now. We're going to we're going to he's going to be a new. And literally, I, I do literally have some of the sycophants coming to me and talking this way to me. Like I'm talking about scripture. I'm not saying anything about anybody's family or anybody's personal issues or health or anything like that. I'm simply talking about scripture. And yet I got some of these dudes coming to me saying, you just wait till Smokey hears this. Smokey, you know Smokey's going to rip you a new one. You know that, right? You know that, right? You know that, right? I just like, really? Like, over this? Over the issue of eternal security versus conditionalism? 
It's ridiculous. And, it's a mockery of the faith anymore. I mean, to me, and, it is. It's, uh, yeah. it's crazy. And, and 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 Bruce, I saw your video. In fact, I played a clip of it. The video that you. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, you saw me do it. Yeah, you saw it. Okay. I left your name in there because I knew you were you were gussy enough to take it. I, yeah. I know you deal with it. Yeah, all. so you know he's saying, yeah, Veckel, it's every time I turn around and see you mucking it up with some of these free gracers and stuff, and I just like, what? what? So what? Just because yeah. we utilize the same passages to talk about whether or not salvation, you know, I mean, that be honest, he, he busted love. on he busted on number of women, and I didn't leave much left yeah. in that, and a few guys throughout that whole thing, but. It, your name when it got there, I thought, well, this is just the stupid craziness that I know you'll know how to deal with. If you do hear it, I wasn't, I hope you don't mind. I wasn't worried about you. No, I'm not, listen, you, man. You, yeah, no, there's you, you know how to, you're good with that. You know, I, I, yeah, I, I you know, it, it doesn't bother me that much. Uh, you know, the, all, the only thing I can do is, is simply respond to it and, and then just live on you know, go back to living my life, you know? So that's why, you know, I don't, I don't take uh, any of the stuff that he was saying. And he might've said some even cr more crueler stuff about me uh, when he's in the clubhouse app. Uh, but I didn't hear about it because I heard he got kicked out of all, you know, that's what I yeah, understand. I did too, actually. I got kicked out as well, uh, but, I'm, <laughs> but I'm back on now. So. Uh, oh, you were kicked out, but he was, I think he's kicked out probably for good. Hopefully. Well, yeah, I was suspended. Yeah. And I still am, I think. Um, I'm under somebody else's account now. So, I mean, my own account, but using somebody else's uh, phone number. Uh, so, yeah, be careful with Clubhouse, by the way, man. If you ever decide to go on there, they, uh, you can have some idiot atheists make the most ridiculous claims and have you removed. And, and they won't even tell you how long your suspension is. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Between 24 hours or, or eight months. <laughs> You'll never know. Well, I think as a Christian, it would make sense that you would probably join a place like Discord, just based on the name itself. Not, not bad joke. Um, I don't think this clubhouse thing seems much better, though. All right. So, uh, Rob is, um, I think, asking legit question. Um, can you can you go to his hang and ask Kenny where he was at eleven a.m. March 30th. If he says he was not at the courthouse with Josh, he's lying. Okay, so so Rob, how, how would how do you know that he was at the courthouse with, with Josh? So we got a photograph of him. How how, do, how does Rob know that? Vettel, Vettel, you're yeah. crying too much. You have to wait for other things to be, but suffice to say. You don't have to trust us or believe us, but God is our witness. Trust me, he was there at 11 a.m. at the courthouse with Joshua Habel, a.k.a. Smokey Saint. Okay. I'm just saying, I can't go bulge too much, but just all I'm saying is... You, you so let, let me ask this question then. So Rob says he has pictures. Is he... Is he allowed to show these pictures, or is there some sort well, of? No, no, I don't. I'm not. I'm not a lawyer. Why? Why? Why is not allowed? Oh well, yeah, it's. I don't know, but such things, yeah, can be. I suppose you can all, actually take pictures of what's well, in, yeah. in the court, unless it's unless it's actually specifically, you know, told by a judge not to uh, record or whatever. Oh, okay. you can take pictures, of course, even like in and outside of the court. Yeah, but. Again, okay. Rob says he has pictures, so I'm just wondering if he can validate that or not. So I, so, I'm not like, I don't have any belief. No, 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 any reason to believe he's lying, I mean, I'm but. sure. Okay, so what he wants to know is whether Kenny is going to be man enough to tell the truth. But I'm, I'm, come on, it's it's a a fun fun. Fun. I'm, with that. I'm trying to find. I'm trying because I like you, Vettel. I'm trying to throw you a massive bone here. <laughs> I mean, you know. I even said that, even contra to our uh, minor disputations over theology, yeah, of, yeah. out of all the people that have gone there, and, and these beloved here will vouch for that, and God is my witness, I said you were the only one there that I was actually upset about because you are a Christian and beloved, and I was so upset that you actually went there. <laughs> so, you know, so I'm throwing you a bone, just all I'm saying, you know, Ask the Lord in prayer if you if you don't want to take our word for it, but trust me, suffice to say, 
all the evidence is out there, pictures are out there. I mean, everything. Right. I mean, right. literally, I'm just throwing your bone because I love you. So, so, so you've seen, uh, well, without, can you tell me if you've seen the pictures? I can't say anything. Okay. But I I just it. trust, just trust us. There's people in here and outside in the track yeah. that have, have all this. And it come out, I suppose, in due time. But I just wanted to throw you out a bone there, just, okay. just, just, just because I know you're of the beloved, and I don't want to see the beloved entangled with that person. I got you. I got you. Yep. 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 All right. Yeah. I'm just. Hey, listen, man. I'm the reason why I'm asking you guys these questions is because I'm trying to follow the example of of the apostle Paul in Thessalonians that we need to prove all things. So oh, no. oh, but no. I understand that you right now, uh, just to keep people from getting into any kind of legal trouble, you can't really talk about anything. So I, I give you that respect. Yeah, I respect that. Back off. Yeah. Look at the private chat for a second. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. This is what, yeah. Okay. And Rob said, I have detailed summary of the victim statement and the factual details presented in court. It ain't pretty. Yeah, that's not good. Not good. But I advise voices keep 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 watching and don't say anything what's going on in the private chat back, all right. Yeah, you're supposed to be in bed. Uh, you don't go to bed. Yeah, well, you're gonna go to bed now. Uh, All right. Well, listen. Uh, I got a little one to put to bed. So. Okay. okay well. Okay. Uh, thank right. you for coming. Uh, right, ask. Uh, cool. Ask Josh clearly. I mean, I mean, uh, Kenny clearly, what the heck he was doing. You know, why was he was at the court at March 30th, at 11 a.m. Yeah. I'm very yeah, hard. yeah, I'm, you are I'm disgusting, I'm, man. Disgusting, man. Can you I'm imagine? Very, you have you. You are a parent. You have your own daughter. Imagine that she's thirteen, and some adult twenty-one is just doing crap like that. All right, it's yeah. just sick, man. Yeah, it is. Yes, definitely don't want to uh, because the Bible says you know even if that was something in the past twenty-something years ago, the fact of the matter is that. Uh, uh, a person with this kind of past cannot act as any type of uh, spiritual authority over anyone, uh, even if they've re after they've repented yeah. and after they've cleaned up their lives and stuff like that. They still cannot act as any type of uh, spiritual right. authority, whether it's a uh, an elder or pastor, worship leader, uh, because that that image has been tainted and uh, it, it could cause people to stumble in the church. So yeah, yeah. I yeah. Like that. Yeah, believe it or not, thank God, good. I made that point about two hours ago. You know, if someone was generally newborn, generally a Christian, they wouldn't even want to put themselves to be an apologist or anybody within Christendom. They would want to be of those who are just thankful that they're saved by God's grace and keep their mouth shut and not be condemning. Well, you probably but, wouldn't live a life of beating the crap out of people well, no, I mean, well, Jesus on you on the internet. With with a yeah. cartoon face, you know, but whatever, what a nut. Oh, I, I, I think. Let me just. I, I just want to just. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. All right. The, the, yeah. Anyway, what's what's in the private is private, obviously. So yeah, a little bit yeah, more insight. Right. But we there's things we can't divulge, obviously. But trust us, as God is our witness, we're not doing anything untoward. You, we're actually. Well, I am especially because I like you. I'm throwing you a huge bone. That's All right. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'll keep this in prayer as well. Um, yeah. So you, you guys keep up, keep what you're doing. And uh, yeah. yeah. And thank God for his abounding grace, as well. say. Can you imagine how many people this Josh Peter guy keep people away from Christ? Well, yeah. Lots. Even Even right now. I want, well, I wouldn't want blood on my hands because that's the thing. If he 
but there is blood on your hands. If you, if you don't tell people the gospel, then you just there's blood on your hands. There's accountability. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, gosh, too much happening in one week. First the Will Will Smith. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, no. not, not, sorry, sorry, that, that's a bad joke. That's not to make light of the situation. Uh, you know, but, right. hey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, his no wife wasn't 13. <laughs> well, it's lucky he didn't throw him through a brick wall or something, of all things. Jeez, people. Yeah. Anyway. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Kind of. Well, speaking of leadership, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, I got to do a uh, kids club teaching so I do have to get prepared for that. So yeah, I'm trying not to think about Kim not. Kardashian more. Yeah, very <laughs> curious. Oh, it looks like did they end their life stream? Okay, man, I definitely. I'm very They're curious cool. to go to that room. But uh, cool. yeah, it's it's getting late. Yeah, what, what, what's up? Leckle, try not to think about Kim Kardashian. Will you? Oh gosh, that's. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Um, yeah, well, my wife's gone tonight, so yeah, it might be kind of hard to. <laughs> no, just kidding, just kidding. All right, all right. Well, let me get on out of here. All right, so I think that uh, we're gonna like close this up. Um, so thank yeah. you for coming by, Vaco. Um, please keep whatever uh, secret yeah, to yeah. be secret. I, I don't and, know. And uh, you know what is up. If you are actually truly born again, you should actually be able to discern what is what. We are facing, we're in a really weird time. We are facing these liars, pretentious Christians. I hope that you can just wake the heck up, man. But anyway, uh, thank you for coming by, Vec. All right, yeah, take care. Continue you back. All right. Um, last words, uh, and then we can go private. Uh, let's start from... Uh, I don't know. Let's start from you, uh, Satori, uh, uh, to to my left, and then uh, Bob and Bruce and and Bill. Uh, any last words, Satori? Uh, just thank you guys for being here and uh, doing what you're doing. Great, thank you for coming by. How about you, Bob? I can't think of anything to say, really. Uh... Louder, louder. I can't think of anything to say, really. Uh, Sam, thanks for letting me in. Okay, good, good. Thank you for coming by, Bruce. Oh boy. Um. Well. Um. It's good seeing you guys, and I do. I'm thankful for that. And. Uh, well, boy. Rough yeah. times. I yeah. know it's hard to uh, hard to say. You know. Bro, uh, bro, Steve, we are about to end, but uh, you came in, but welcome. Uh, bro, Bill, your last word. Well, my last word obviously has to be the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. 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 God bless you. Um, believe on Christ and you shall have eternal life. Thank you for listening. God bless you. And... Have a good one. Bye for now.